fuck, this hand is bad. <laughs> um, well, I mean, it's not the worst. Could certainly be better. Yeah. We just a cup value as a three value. Wait, what do you mean? What is that? What does that mean? Ninety eight players. Jesus fucking Christ. Okay, people really want to play in these events, huh? I hope I didn't fuck this up royally. Um, I most likely did. Yeah, like Prismatic Sanct Vista doesn't lock it in Mystic Sanctuary. Something to think about. Uh, they have Mold of Five. All right, I will lead with the Volcanic Island then. Perhaps this is a mistake, but they have mold to five. Opal. Okay. That is not a bad sign. Okay. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I could have actually just plowed this. I'm a fucking idiot. I'm a genius. I'm a genius. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> Oof. All right. I guess it didn't matter what I did then. Risky, risky, risky. Okay, I know how I'm going to lose this game, but it's not going to be because of this fucking memory. I'll tell you that much. Intuition could have been a sweet one too, yeah. We're not going to die to turtle, okay, Eli? Come on, leave me alone. Stop it, please. <laughs> um, That's kind of an interesting combo. Oh, wow. They, yeah, yeah, I mean, they just have to get through their deck here. Oh, oh, turn off all of you. Okay, actually, it didn't matter. Holy fuck, that, would, that was that that was really fucking bad. But for, don't forget, I'm just lucky. I'm not good, but I'm very lucky. So it didn't end up not mattering. Um, I think I should have mulliganed this in. <laughs> this deck does not have good good enough selection. Uh, we have twelve cantrips. That's and I guess okay, I guess some baubles. That is not very good selection. I think I also just needed the Dragon's Rage channelers as well. It's hard to say. Okay, okay, they're tapping out for some big stuff here. And it's just going to get countered. They need to, yeah, tap the Max up first. And then we're going to Force of Will. Probably pitching it to Fairy since the Narset can take down and get some value. Soon as we draw the best card in our deck. Oh wait, I can't cast the fucking Narset. Oh. All right, let's let's do that. Oh no, <laughs> this deck is a shuck fucking. Whew. Is there is there a list of all the Baldur's Gate cards that are available on Moto? Um, not that I'm fully aware of. Yikes! Yikes, mate, this is not good. But I think Plateau may have been like the one card that really just fucked me over here. I guess I could have drawn a second planes too. That would have been bad. Okay, look, I don't usually play this card, but I was like, I have like 30 seconds to build a mana base. Fuck it, Plateau. You know? Oh my God. It's like this. It's like, it really is like this. Here, I'll just put this in my hand. Holy fuck. <laughs> I don't know how people live in a world. I don't know how people have justify this. Oh wait, they can't activate this. Oh my god, that's so sexy. That is so sexy. I forgot they can't activate this. I I should have attacked. Okay, I should I should have attacked. I thought I was dead, but I forgot how bad their situation was. Look, Eli, I have no castables, but I've used my mana every single turn. 
since getting to three land three lands, right? Wrong, right? Eh? Wait, but what did you say? What did you say? I know, dude. See, I, I just build I, I build decks that really are all sorts of beautiful, if you will. We get two draws now to find uh whatever we need. They have spell bomb, okay. Alright, that's super fucking obnoxious. Um, why don't I go ahead and just bounce the seat of the synod? Yeah, that seems pretty annoying for them. I could bounce the saga, but... Okay, wait a minute. Hold up. I'm actually just fucking dead now. There's not a single brainstorm or, like, ponder or, like, a land in... in... <laughs> Cringe! Okay, that's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. No, 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 I, I understand. I understand, no, this, we, we all learned a lesson here, right? Fucking plateau. Dude, I saw it in Zeno's deck and I was like, oh, okay, maybe it's fine. Spoiler alert, it was not fine. Oh my god, if I lose this game, I will actually, I'll actually be mildly upset. I won't be like that upset. I don't really get upset, but, but. Oh, bless your heart. Bless your heart, Brainstorm. What a great magic card. Into, perfect, lands. That's exactly what I wanted. Oh, now you're just dead. Wait, wait, did not hit a single land. Wait a minute, what do you mean lands? Hello? Oh, God. Well, I mean, technically we have the combo. I'm going to go put these two cards back. All right, we'll get rid of this. Ugh. Wow. This is... This is quite frustrating. The, I mean, it's amusing if you're in any position besides the hot seat here. Look, they had a plan, and uh, it did not pan out. All right. I guess they don't actually need the spell bomb for, uh, for anything. So there's that. Mm, punch in for five. Wait, how the fuck do we still not have a blue source? What? All right, we're just going to do this, I guess. Oh my god, it's another Urza Saga. How is that legal? Actually, we can bounce it with... Uh, we can bounce it with the fairy. Okay, so now we've undone the brainstorm. We have Displacer Kitten. I do not think we can lose. Like, look at this. We actually have enough value for Displacer Kitten in the Planeswalkers. I think that theory is just correct. Like... It just plays out that way more often than not because we're so good at protecting our planeswalkers and also just like finding them. That what is this? What are you doing? No, that's bad. That I do not like. I think uh the play here is to just do this and then bounce that. Ah, beautiful. Beautiful. And the next turn we can play cat. Um, you know what? Fuck you. I'm gonna discard one of these. Send a message. Has the new blue turtle, uh, like in their deck? Absolutely ridiculous. Alright, cat. Can't lose now. 30 lands, by the way. 30 lands, by the way. Hmm. I mean, I kept a shitter. I kept a shitter. Let's be real here. I should have mulligan my hand. Looking at that hand. No brainstorm, no ponder, no fear. <laughs> right? All right. I think they're taking time to read Displacer Kitten, which, you know, that's very smart. And I highly recommend everybody to read the fucking card before you play it. I still have not fully reread this in a while. This is one chunky token, I guess. All right. So why don't I take up here first? And then... 
I think I'm allowed to play this. I, I don't particularly know if I am. Okay, so now I can flicker that. Yo, this is about to get really nasty. So this is just like inherent value with Displacer Kitten, right? And they're going to concede there. Because then we can down tick with the Narset, find something, bounce it again, or flicker it again, then do it again. Um. Well, I guess Mark Zeke, I could technically Pyroblast the Planeswalker, or Red Blast the Planeswalker that they're targeting with their own Red Blast, right? But I think you are right, just in gen gen generally speaking, to have four and one uh, might not be a bad thing. Uh, I believe I will be bringing in the two Serenities as well. And no idea what to cut. Probably is just some of these. Um, I got rid of, no, Seven's Reclamation actually seems kind of crazy good. Snapcaster Mage, is that actually good in this matchup? I don't know. Yeah, because we also have, like, Serenity in the deck, so I think Reclamation for Serenity makes a lot of sense. Um, I need to cut two cards. Close my eyes and cut two cards? Yeah, sure, Protecting Mentor from Swords. Uh, uh, yeah, exactly. I, I think in general, yes, like, this one slot. I, I, I mean, my, my default, my muscle memory tells me to play around Surgical Extraction. I hope that it comes to Magic Online. Mm. In this matchup or in general? Because I do agree in general that Engineered Explosives is probably pretty good in this matchup because it can get rid of a bunch of zeros. Um, and then it also works with the combo. Yeah. I need to cut two cards. If I cannot think of anything else, I will cut Snapcaster Mages. I don't know if I'm allowed to cut lands. Can somebody tell me that I'm allowed to cut lands? Can somebody also tell me that I'm not allowed to cut lands? Like I'll probably just cut the Caracas to be... Actually, no, it's probably just... Yeah, probably just Caracas. No, Emery. That is not Caracas. It's in, fuck it. Get rid of the Plateau. I also don't like having six duels on this deck. I think that's really bad. Trimming Iteration and Plateau. You think those are both better than Snapcaster Mage? Real? What does Snapcaster accomplish here? I guess it can... Flashback, ending, pyroblast, iteration. Um, it just win. Uh, no, it just draws the whole deck. But you know, generally speaking, you should be able to win in those situations. I think. Probably don't need all three volks. No. And let's compromise. I'm gonna cut one of those, and I'm gonna cut. Ah, uh, fuck it. I feel like cutting lands is just a bad thing. Nope, we'll follow my gut. Just, we'll do it for now. We'll do it for now. And we'll regret later. We'll, re we'll, we'll regret later. When we find, when we draw the plateau, or when we draw plateau, or we draw... Perfect, iteration. We can compare and, and, and lament. I'm going to keep this hand. I mean, they kept 7-2. Um, Swords is not... Okay, well... Sure. I believe so, Co Covenant. I'm not 100% sure. I think you're asking me if... Uh... Yes, this is the anniversary play-in, yes. I could fetch Plateau here, have double plow up. Somehow seems dirty and wrong. What's the combo? Yeah, kitten to fairy and Mishra's bobble. I'll give you. I'll, I'll give you um, a second to try to piece it together and see if you can figure out how it works. But also, if you don't care to, then I can just give you the answer as well. Hmm. I think I'm supposed to just do this. I was supposed to do this earlier. My bad. They get one extra life. Oh no! Actually, that's an that's an ancient tomb activation. So, actually, oh no. But presumably this will get Foundry or... Actually, I could probably just get Mana. Getting Mana here is not a bad thing. All right, so I'll give you some time. Pause the video. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, but basically, it's it's Kitten to Fairy and then Bobble. And then what you do is uh, bounce 
the bobble with Kitten and Teferi in play using Teferi, which they have smartly decided to name here with uh, Pithy Needle. Bounce the bobble, replay the bobble, displace your Kitten will blink the Teferi, giving it more loyalty, than you, and you draw a card when you tick down with the Teferi. You bounce the bobble, draw a card, replay the bobble, blink the Teferi, down tick on the Teferi, draw a card, bounce the bobble, blah, 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 you kind of get it, right? This might be a disaster, actually. Actually, you know what? We actually have a couple good cards to draw into. Even if we, if we hit, like, one mana spells, I think we're happy. And we hit... Yeah, and I think we hit... Hmm. I don't actually think Force is very good here. Wait, no, Force is probably fine, because we can always put Yorion into our hand. So maybe this is just a... Yeah, do this. Do this. Do this. Um, Scalding Tarn it is. We have Mystic Sanctuary in our deck. There should really not be fucking... There really should not be, uh... Shit in our deck like that. Thassa's Oracle was a consideration, um, and that's why originally Mox Amber was in the deck, so you could go infinite, draw your whole deck, and then just play the Thassa's Oracle, win that same turn. Okay, this is fine. So I think the play here is fetch island. Am I slamming the cat or am I going to go Yorion plow? I'm not slamming the cat. There's no way. Yeah. So we go Yorion to the hand, swords this. Okay. Now they get to make two constructs. Um, but we get next turn land, kitten, and then we can block and like brainstorm and like do things like that. Shadow Spear would be a problem though. Should have gotten the plateau. Just to send a message. Yeah, that would have been funny. Wait, we have a prediction going on? Oh my goodness, I don't even know what it is. But I, I commend the mod that made the prediction. You get points in my eyes. Yeah, if Kitten could target their own things, like opponent things, that would be kind of crazy, actually. It was me? Is Plateau good? Oh, wait a minute, what the fuck? How is that a prediction, dude? Also, sorry to the person that put 200 points in on. Yes. But honestly, like, bruh, these are six sixes. I think I'm supposed to let this resolve. What the hell is this? And I've already used three swords. Okay, wait a minute. We got a problem. Mm, I might not have time to play the cat. Take six, six, six. Uh, it's getting worse. Okay, this has to go, actually, because it's, it's a warm body. I can just kill me. Yeah, it, sadly, I do not think I any have chance to stuff. Yeah, cool, good sentence. I'm just fucking dead. Is that the third Urza saga? No, it's just the second. My God. Okay. That is a little bit too late. Hmm. Okay, winnable, 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 winnable. I mean, I'm just going to assume they have nothing. But they probably have something. <gasps> not winnable, not winnable, not winnable. I forgot. Uh, I forgot they have Needle onto Fairy, um, which means I'm just dead. Yeah, next. Okay. Let's just save some time. Don't, don't, fuck, yeah, God damn it! I just got, yes, I got kecked. Fucking, fucking kecked. So would Snapcaster Mage have been better than Iteration there? Well, Snapcaster Mage would have been desirable in some capacity for sure. Um, I do feel like I flooded out just a little bit. I mean, is Plateau really the cut? Planes has to go before Plateau, right? Actually, that's not true. Maybe it's Prismatic Vista. Uh, yeah, Vista, nah, yeah, Vista's fine. All right, we'll do that. We'll just throw in one for one. And then we kept one Snapcaster in, and then we cut... 
Okay, I think this is fine. Wouldn't cut lands on the play? Fuck. Well, submit has been pressed. And I am far too lazy. Not... Oh, okay, well, okay, that it's fine. It's fine. We didn't draw a Snapcaster Mage. Um... Sure. This is acceptable. Bottom of the force because I'm just never winning if I pitch a card here. But they also have eight cards, so this might be might be doomed. Okay, so this is looking like a a chalice coming up. Um I think I'm supposed to maybe play the Z E on zero here. But then this also begs the question, am I really going to play Narset without having Red Blast back up? Yo, Sloanum, thank you for the follow. Okay. It's fine. Fine, 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 fine. Chalice on X equals 1. So I don't actually know what I want here. I think the answer is the land... And the Narset, we don't need the bobble quite yet. Congratulations. Why do we play Island over Tundra? Um, because if there's some strange world where I need to get like volcanic off of this one, and I need to play the Brainstorm first, then we can play uh, Tundra next turn and uh, have White open. We get to like Brainstorm first or something like that. I don't know. I kind of just made that reason up. Does it pass the test though? Does it sound smart? Come on, that sounds smart, right? That sounded pretty smart, right? I kind of got you, right? You're like, whoa, Onu. You kind of big brained out there. And I'm like, yeah, Eli, I am. Thanks. All right. Well, we don't need a third fucking Narset, I'll tell you that much. Is that a pretty dumb? What do you mean? Okay, Jarvis, I'm sorry. You clearly do not have the, the masterclass capacity to understand the brain waves that are coming out of my radioactive fucking... Giga Chad, I don't know, keyword here, brain. That's pretty good, actually. Well, actually, it's a, it's good. Okay, that's fucking phenomenal. So, oh my god, wait, what? Banger. Another two for one in the books. So they see expressive iteration at random. Sure enough. So I think I will start with this. Oh my god, this Narset fucking destroyed them. <laughs> oh my god. Um, I think I just wanted the red source in play. I don't know. Dude, they just got fucking bodied. Holy shit. If I still lose to that's the sad part. Uh okay. Like Ugh. I think I'm supposed to just get the swords. I'm I'm going to take the swords. Sur Serenity <laughs> Serenity them to the Shadow Realm, if I could just do it. But like I have I have a, a number of outs, like but but I, I really do think that it's just like swords here. I'm gonna take the swords and we're gonna regret later on. How about that? Oh wait, this is my this is my bobble. Nice. Well, yeah, you don't get to draw a card here. Okay, so they have Bobble. What the fuck is this? What is this doing? Um, You could make an argument here that I'm supposed to play around Flusterstorm. You know what? We're, we're in such a fucking strong position that... Well, now I'm not going to do it, I guess. All right, YOLO. Just go ape shit.
You don't have five mana for force? Oh, Dispute? Yeah, that would be kind of sick. Metallic Rebuke. Nice, okay. I'm, I'm for it. This feels pretty good, actually. I, honestly, like, I don't know. The noodle solves everything. Same difference? Yeah, yeah, It's probably, yeah, it's better, right? It's better. Metallic Rebuke. Somehow they still have three cards in their hand, which is quite quite terrifying, actually. One, two, three, four. Okay, that's fine. I allow it. Red, blue. Um. Well, that's unfortunate, but I will brainstorm. Okay, it is less unfortunate. So I think at this stage now, probably just don't need this forceful, right? Um, they only have two cards in hand, so I'm wondering if I just let them kill my Narset here. Just put the Yorion into my hand. Nah. Nah, right? I mean, because, yeah, they could be sitting on, like, Thoughtcast. So I'll just do this and regret when they when I find out that they don't have Thoughtcast in their hand. Sag, Ancient Tomb. Okay, nice. Ooh, banger. Cat. Flash and Hole Breacher, I fucking dare you. Okay, yeah, this worked. This game played out fucking flawlessly, actually. It was just insane. <clears throat> uh, I don't think I played a land this turn, right? Oh my god, wait a minute. Oh, we're going batshit now, aren't we? So here... I think I'll just take the... Tefaloni. Do this. Mystic Sanctuary. How do I feel about that? Mystic Sanctuary here seems kind of nice. Get this. Oops, should have gotten the Pyroplast. Ponder. Target the Narset once again. Okay, and then I will keep this. Oh my, this is the ultimate dirtle. This is the ultimate dirtle. Whoo, fuck. Okay, all right, we'll take the Force of Will as well. Yo, Cooper, thank you for the raid. Welcome, everybody. We are having a grand old time right now. I'll tell you that much. Pondering into the EE and I had all pieces. Yeah, but I think at this point, you know, we're just going to kill them with like pure emotional despair. You know what I mean? Oh man, that was that was fun. That just made me that made me a little bit giddy. I mean, I don't know what we're supposed to do against Pyroblast, but against any deck that doesn't have it, oh, it's a fucking show. It is a goddamn fucking circus. Uh, yeah, we have some time to kill before the next round. Uh, wow, that's surprising. So I think we can go back and then maybe try to iterate on this. Um, actually, here's a really interesting point too. Wait, which which cards are you talking about, Slasher? Scormit, thank you for the follow. That is a great... Scormit is setting the example, like a great example here, the bar. That's what's being set here, the bar. For every single viewer who has not yet followed, I highly recommend you follow Scormit's path. Join Scormit in following this channel. Let me give you two good reasons why, all right? First, um, it helps this channel. Why does it, if you if you are a fan of Paper Magic, I promise you, following this channel, it will probably be the best thing that you can do. It, in the upcoming months for the summer. Um, I have basically, I think almost to, to a fault, I, I have decided to just go to paper events and stream them. Um, it costs me a lot of money and I, I love what I do, but I also have like a wife and we just renewed our lease and money is, I'm not made of money. I'll tell you, just to be very honest. With you. But if you follow the channel and you watch sometimes, even if you just like leave it on and like walk away and like, you know, make a cup of coffee or something like that. Um, the metrics matter. The metrics matter a lot. I can use that to talk to sponsors and be like, hey, why don't you guys pay us and the Magic community 
us being the magic community, I guess, so that we can do this stuff. It, it matters a lot. Small things matter a lot. I, I don't, I don't, I don't know how to like honestly like explain it to you, but after the first SCG Dallas, like because I got 2,000 followers in that one weekend, I was able to leverage that and get 200 extra dollars from an upcoming sponsored stream that I'll be doing. So like it, ma it matters, small things. How many points are donor for pet the dog? That's a really good question. I, I feel almost bad to go up there and like disrupt her, you know what I mean? Like look at her. She's 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 a fucking croissant right now. She is croissanting so hard. Would you tell me you really want to go out there and take a bite out of that? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mike. Thank you for the beep boop. You feel me? Also, do you want to guys you guys want to see some cool stuff that I've been working on? Uh I don't know if it's So I showed you guys the wordle thing that I was working on earlier. And uh check it out. We got some animations in. How fucking badass does that look? Doesn't that look badass? You might not get the whole vision yet. This might help a little bit too. Doesn't this look fucking badass? For a hot dog? I should. You would bite the... <laughs> yeah. She does shred. Uh, not shred. Shed. shed. Shred. She sheds. Oh my god. Okay. But uh, it's, it's coming together. And I think uh, when it all looks... I don't know if I showed you guys the... There's even one more... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here it is. This is it. This is what I... Look at this. It, okay, it, it's, it's on repeat, but doesn't this look insane? Doesn't this look so good? Look at all the details. My brother-in-law is an artist who doesn't really play magic, but, like, having, like, seen all... Like, this is so sweet. He even got the Wooberg order in. He even got the Wooberg order in. So talented. Super talented. Looks S tier, right? The sketches are for what is this for? It's a um, a project that I'm working on. Have you ever watched like Boxbox? Yeah. So Boxbox actually has this really cool Twitch app, which lets um, I think he hired a custom developer or something, someone to do it. But it's basically Twitch plays Wordle. Thought that was a really smart idea, and I don't see any reason why we can't port that over to the Magic community. I woke up early. I woke up at one. What's Boxbox? He's a very good streamer who plays TFT and a couple other games. Um, very big streamer too. Yeah. And I think uh, it's very, it's I, one thing that I do like, and I have no shame in doing this is like looking at like the people that do the best, that perform the best, and then just like fucking take their ideas and apply them to what you got. Like, yeah, it is what it is. You're going to join the set seven. Are you going to go to, uh, are you going to try to hit masters? I got back to diamond two. Um, and then like I, I was I basically told myself this if I keep winning, I'll keep trying. I was at diamond two seventy LP and then I lost two back to back. Adding hex is unfortunately not. Yeah, and just discover things. Fair enough. I feel like you have a lot of competitive stuff already going on for you with regards to magic and getting back in the pro tour and things like that. Um, good artist borrow, great artist steal. That's a sick, that is a sick fucking line. You know how the animations are? Yeah, so if you actually go, so actually it's just kind of awkward, but I'm just going to show you here. Living cards and teeth. I'm give you a very good link, all right? This guy out here, Jeffrey Palmer. Living cards of a very talented artist. Um, are you a wizard's magic content creator? All of my animations are free to use per the fan content policy. And, uh, yeah. So if you go to this animation vault right here, it's a act link to a drive and all the animations are available for you to use. Um, I would, you know, if you do end up using this sort of stuff, I would probably, you know, throw Jeffrey, uh, a like, a follow, some sort of financial support. Thank you. Whatever it might be. I do think, uh, Helps a lot. This is my favorite one. This is my favorite one for sure. I don't know. This one was probably way more complicated to animate, and I don't know if it's going to load or not, but the day's animation was so sick. If you haven't seen it already. Yeah. Okay, it's not loading, so, like, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do. Oh, here it is. Okay, cool. All right. It's not loading. I don't know. Okay, suspense. I promise you that animation is sweet. You should definitely go check it out. Um... I will go ahead and... Yeah, it's it's the Amonkhet one with the birds, yeah. There you go. Ta-da! And this will give you access to all of it. Now, if, if I had to tell you how it was probably animated, I think it's all done in After Effects, and it, there's... Yeah, I can't actually open this shit up. I, I don't really know how. And it involves a lot of, like... Here, let me show you what, how I animated some of my, my stuff, okay? So I'm just going to move this over here. Let's see if I can find a good one. Um, the process is actually frustratingly complicated for someone who like me who has never actually done it but um okay let's see 
So what I did was, you know, you're familiar with the uh, photos, right? So this is Oko, Thief of Crowns, and I'm trying to think. So this is his whole body. And then what I did for my animation was, you'll notice that I erased basically everything from this photo. And then like the pieces that I wanted to move. So this is the knife that's in his hand. For example, this is the knife that is in his hand. Um, let's see. Yeah, you, you can see that right there, right? And then, for example, I also had a picture where I cut his arm off and then even some of his fingers. You know, basically you have to break it up into multiple pieces and then find a way to move the multiple pieces. And I actually do not think I have... Um, I don't know if this is going to work. I'm going to press a button and see what happens. You ready for it? Or maybe I deleted it old. Try to show something else. I'm trying to see if I can like show off what I worked on, but yeah, and you get something like that. You see what I'm saying? But it's like a very, very, very big process. The puppeteer tool, I've never heard of that. But if that's that, that might actually be, that might actually be um, something close to Jeffrey uses. Speaking of, I kind of want to, I kind of want to. Oh, and, and here, here's another person. If you want more, more kind content, like. Uh, I think Bob. I'm not sure if I got the name right. I was way too loud. No, this is not the one I'm looking for. There was some League of Legends, League of Legends art animation YouTube channel. Let's see, Misfortune maybe it was. Van Vank Vank was one. Here it is. And so this this is basically what you can use. This is basically it. Like this is like like god tier level when you really get good. You can sort of see what's going on. He's just like, this person is going around and like selecting everything. I think this is on 2X. No, it's, this is normal. Okay. Right. And then eventually. All right, reset this. Um, and you like break, you break everything up into the smallest of parts. What, what is going on? Why, why is this like this? Hello? Okay. Thank you. And then the final product is like, yeah. The detail here, uh, specifically here, is very insane. But I, I, I would check this out. Uh, this person's name is Vank, V-A-A-N-K. Cool content. I asked them to commission something for me once, and they were like, no, because they weren't sure about the Magic the Gathering like art policy. <laughs> I, I don't know how to do anything Photoshop related, I'll be honest with you. I love the idea of like, Cause like I have ideas, I just don't have like the me the way to execute, and I feel like um, is the next round really not up yet. Okay, well, whatever it is. Uh, yeah, I just I would really, 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 really love to find a way to make it work. Um, I I made it work for a couple cards, like, but it was very time intensive, and I I don't know if it's really worth the effort. Yeah, yeah, I'm not surprised by that, Mike. Not surprised a single bit. I will give you a heads up in about two hours, two and a half hours. I do have a meeting. I'm not sure if I'll be streaming that long, but uh, we'll see. I mean, I've been on for about four and a half hours right now, and I don't really feel tired at all. So I don't particularly see a reason why I shouldn't keep streaming. Um, let's see. What am I talking about? Have you guys heard of the drink Celsius? <laughs> Wait a minute. What? I kind of want to. I was looking. Um, so Vogue actually showed me this. I'm here on Amazon. I kind of want to re I just saw this and I was like, what the fuck is this? Holy cow. Dang. I haven't slept in two weeks and love every second of it. I only drink 12. <laughs> First, I went to the gym and lifted everything there. 4,000 sets of 5-0. Then I went to a burger place and ate about 20 burgers. After going to the gym again, I went to pull a train with my butt. Oh, my God. I may have hallucinated the whole thing. Then ran an ultra marathon. This is like one of the fucking best reviews I've ever. Holy shit, dude. Oh, top critical review. I also like reading this as well. I don't think it's supposed to be healthy and advertises no sugar, no preservatives. They add sucralose, which defeats the purpose of a zero, zero sugar drink. Sucralose raises your blood sugar, insulin, harmful compounds. They could just added stevia instead. It would have given it the exact same time actually healthy. Just frustrating me. Okay, all right. Well, yikes. That's spooky scary. <clears throat> Can't go wrong with watermelon. I agree. The watermelon flavor is fucking nice. Like the taste is refreshing. It doesn't have a bad aftertaste. Agree. I actually really like this one. I think I might switch to it. Um, I'm just worried about like, like drinking this sort of stuff. Like, over the course of a decade, I'm pretty sure it will fuck me up. You know what I mean? Celsius is actually good. You think Tony drinks this? Okay. The green tea Celsius is also pretty cracked. I agree. 
Yeah. The one that I tried that I was like so so about was the kiwi guava one. I think that one was like so so, but like watermelon strawberry, the peach the the peach mango tea one, all those were like banging. Um and I will say one thing is that like I feel like when I drink the Zevia stuff, it like doesn't really Okay, maybe this is like a tolerance thing and it's maybe like a sign that I'm doing a bit too much, but it's just like hit as hard. Whereas I have one of these and I'm just like like I'm active, I'm alive and I can Whatever it is. Um, okay, and it seems like a lot of people are saying watermelon. Anyways, this is this is why. I think it's because there's literally 80 grams extra of caffeine in each of these things. Um, but again, my concern is mostly like, let's say I do drink this like, you know, once a day. Because I, I like drinking caffeine. I like my caffeine. Fucking love my caffeine. Um, how many years am I shaving off my life? You, know? you just drink Monster Ultra Zero drink one a day yeah i think that's that's a sweet spot for me because before i was doing about like two two cans of zevia well one and a half really but then you waste the other half and i'm like shit this stuff is actually kind of expensive and i don't know if i can really afford that but one is yeah well it's not just the, the caffeine right like I, I as someone who like does take a lot of caffeine whether it is for magic whether it is for streaming whether it is for just you know oh, oh that's one thing i do whenever i play tft i don't play tft without being fucking awake like I, it's kind of weird but like it's like when you go to a tournament and you drink coffee like before a tournament because you want to be awake and focused. Same thing for like grinding like TFT ladder. I really wanted to get to masters and I wanted to have like full attention, full awareness, full like be at, be at my 100% when playing that game. You know, like when you take something super seriously, you don't want to fuck around with it, right? Yeah, I, th I think there's t like, especially when you compare it to magic, coffee is another option too. That is another option too. But what I'm what I'm not concerned about the caffeine specifically. I'm concerned about let's take a look at some of the other ingredients: carbonated filtered water, citric acid, natural flavor, vegetable juice for color, sucralose. Like how much sucralose is like too much? What the fuck even is sucralose? You know this is something that I should know. What is sucralose? From that one other review, it seems like it's a like a sugar alternative, artificial sweetener. Okay, yeah. So like that was where things get a little bit scary, right? Like I think stevia is a better option so those are things to think about right anyways how much cheaper than rb are those ed in the what the fuck i don't quite comprehend that question i'll be very honest with you guys i also just haven't gotten a haircut today i mean a haircut in like forever and now i look like a fucking demon from like elden ring i don't know it's kind of crazy auto lady thank you for the risa thank you appreciate it 26 months it's a sugar alternative that's not really good for you yeah fair enough and that's what i'm worried about so anyways I think like I, I think if you have it like once every now and then, probably fine. But if you have it like once a day, you're probably gonna, you know, regret later. Or I probably will. I don't know. It's weird. I'm not like the healthiest person. I'll be very, very um, <clears throat> transparent about that. That's something that like long term is. As someone who like sits in front of their computer like a lot, I think it's just like a natural like not being the most active or whatever. Okay, you know what? Actually, this is like a long topic and probably too serious. We'll, we'll shift shift to something else. Okay, that's, that's, that is a statement. I haven't quite actually seen that before. Is to shave years off my life. Hmm. I mean, so here's something that's really interesting. Ethical question. I have recently, not recently, since a while ago, I realized that, like, I prefer to be happy as opposed to, like, grind super hard and then, like, do something that is unfulfilling to me, right? Which is why when it comes to work, like, my actual day job, I'm not, like, I'm not like the rank one try hard, you know, worker consultant person. When it comes to magic, I find it very fulfilling, whether it's playing, streaming, flying over. That's why I've invested so much of my time, money, and effort into traveling to paper events and, you know, making connections and this, this, and that, that. I think I find it very important. Um, speaking of which, I'll say something right now that's really interesting. At DreamHack Dallas, I think the reason this event was crazy was not only was the stream somewhat successful, I mean, we had the internet crash, which did cost me a significant amount of like viewership numbers. The networking connections that I made there, specifically with John Carter and um, Aaron Lindy was like inc incredible, I, sh I shit you not. And I'm really hoping that the Sunday stream was good enough that for Atlanta, they would be interested in having me back in some capacity or form or whatever. <laughs> Just straight up do cocaine, uh-oh. Yeah, no, it is, it is an actual ethical question. So the question is just like, you know, the balance between like working hard on things you don't care about, but like, you know, that will, for example, generate you lots of money versus me. I like to work like, you know, like straight up nine to five, 5 p.m. Clock out, get the fuck out, do my own thing. You know what I mean? Okay. It's, that's actually, 
and in ambiguity, I will leave it in ambiguity because I can't just like say everything, but there are two types of people. Well, there's multiple types of people, but these are two types of people from the multiple types of people. Which one is better? And I think that's a personal preference, obviously, but basically let me let me let me link you guys this article that bob sent me and i think jarvis has already seen this but it's the concept of being a shirker which is kind of interesting um let's see if i can find it i also don't know because i read i read this article and i was like what the fuck this is like me but like insane here check this article out financial independence on this reddit why wasn't i was why was i not in bologna because i was in dallas um streaming the modern 10k the dream hack modern 10k i wish i was in bologna but again i have limited time energy and also unfortunately uh, my money yeah it's all it's all i am but a human and if i where's this tab oh okay my bad um and if i could be super i really would that article is insane i kind of want to take a look at it rinto okay we battle i cover it with my hand on the screen you can't see it, right? Fuck. <laughs> okay, this one's better. And admittedly, I think I'm going to keep this. And daggers. Oh, man. I think it's one of these two cards for sure. I could also bottom the swords to plashes, but then like, if they end up being like Delver, then we're in big trouble. And from what I can see right now, they've never played any Legacy. So I think I'm just fucking dead. I'm going to put back the Mentor, though. I think, in general, the floor on Mentor is... Well, okay. Like, Mentor might be the best way to come back from bullshit, but it's fucking goblins. I'm dead. Oh, my God. I'm just dead. Okay, well, that's unfortunate. Hmm. Yikes. Want to buy Mentor one time. Um... And Misty Rainforest cannot get Plateau either, right? Fucking god damn it. What a, f like, disaster. I think I'm just going to plow this and cry. Wow, wow, my mana is, like, actual pits. Oh, my god. They accelerated twice. I guess they would have played Ringleader otherwise. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't usually give kind of crazy content like that, but certainly something to think about. Now, how do we actually win from here? And I think the secret answer is we don't, but that's also not that bad. We get one loss in these events, and I think we just collect our loss here and 3-0 the rest. Solid strategy, am I right? Here's the other secret strategy too, right? They're just going to whiff. They're not going to hit a single goblin. I'm telling you right now. Okay, well, they hit two. Food chain confirmed in the deck. War chief and this other one. Hmm. Oh, we got another raid coming in. Hey, Jandrake, thank you for the raid. Welcome, everybody. We are playing in the Legacy 20th Anniversary play-in. This is round two. We're 1-0 right now. About to take a horrible loss to goblins. So if you are... Quite frankly, an enemy of the stream. You're going to enjoy this match as we get completely crushed. I'm going to just take three points of damage. I think I'm going to like brainstorm and then maybe iterate into Swords to Plowshares, like guarantee the value. I'm going to lose out on a little bit of mana though, but I think it's fine. That is true. We do have the combo element, so it's possible that we could also win here. Now, we knew that they have like what, War Chief and Matron. Realistically speaking, I'm going to just brainstorm here and just use some of my mana, I think. Um, that's really good. Wow. Okay. That was really good. I think we get to just plow now, sadly. I should have just brainstormed. Ugh, I just took two damage for no reason. Wait, is that really good? <gasps> no, I'm going to shuffle. I'm a, I'm a idiot. I'm an idiot. Hmm. Well, maybe there's a way to not... It got too badly here. Let's think about this. I do want the, uh, I definitely do want the, uh, the bobble, I think. Yeah, man, no, no problem. No problem. I hope you enjoyed the modern event over the weekend. Um, Syracuse is a modern 30k, which I'm pretty excited for.
Yo, Carlos, thank you for the follow as well. Welcome. Uh, let's think about this. So I could just... Fa no, we'll just save it for the next turn, I think. Next turn, I might just, like, iterate. They probably have Wasteland in their deck. Although Ancient Tomb is kind of a... Uh... I don't know, signal that maybe they don't, but it could be like a one of two. But no, the food chain is what makes me think that they don't have Wasteland in their deck, so I think we can get a little bit freaky with how we board and whatnot. Um, this is mildly sad, saddening. Actually, do they even have Munitions Expert? They probably don't have Munitions Expert, which is something to think about as well, which means this is probably going to get uh, Muxus. Yeah. Well, they have Cavern too, right? So I guess we're just going to get rid of this. On top of my deck is a Bobble. Perhaps I'm supposed to just take the four points of damage there and then just like try to plow the Muxus instead because that's going to be a lot, right? Uh, okay, so we draw this. Fetch. Now the question is... Iteration or Kitten? And... I think the answer is I think I'm just playing the cat. I think the cat gives me the most potential chance to win. One thing that is a okay, so here's a great example of how having Mox Amber in the deck would be very good. Um And the reason I say that is because having Mox Amber would allow me to actually kill on this turn. You would iterate there 100%. Oh, shit. Please, please don't power off. No. Oh, my God. That's dumb. Um, so the reason I think... The reason I think... Uh, I want to play the cat here is because next turn I could potentially go, like, iterate into Teferi plus land. But then also we can start, like... I think this is just using my mana a little bit better, right? Like, there's no guarantee we hit anything really off here. Plus, our land drop is made for the turn, so, like... Wait, it wasn't made for the turn? Yeah, it was. Misty Rainforest. Okay, whiff, 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 whiff. Whiff, whiff. Um, that's a pretty big whiff. No haste. Okay. So now we actually have a real shot at, at winning here. Hmm... Let's see what they get off of this. I, it'll probably just be like another Muxus, honestly. I don't know. Or like a hasty creature or something. Yeah, another Muxus. Okay. It's fine. <clears throat> well, no, because I think if we untap with this, we could actually just completely snowball the win. We also have a bobble prepared for, I don't know, whatever value potential we can get. Okay, that's not it. Why don't we start with an iteration? Okay, non-land permanent, sure. So this is not phenomenal. Oh, gross. All right, never mind. I think we're just dead. Ah, <sighs> that's unfortunate. We needed to hit a Planeswalker here pretty badly, actually. Oh, you know what? Mistake. I should have used Bobble alongside this other card. Hmm. Okay. How do we get back out of this? I think the answer is we don't. I'm ready to concede and go to the next one. Okay. Also, we could have had Strix instead of Iteration. That's something to think about as well. If we had Strix instead of Iteration, how would the game have been different? Well, then we would have not exactly drawn much else, I think. So whatever, we're going to see what happens. Well, okay. The reason, like, I mean, yes, you you can try to be, like, look smart about that play. But, like, obviously the reason we didn't get anything is because the iteration fucking whiffed. Like, it would have whiffed last turn. Then I would have said the same thing to you. You know what I mean? It is what it is. Um, but I think that, I think you're right, though, that is important, is that we... We actually do need some amount of... Maybe we just need more spells to, to pair alongside the Kitten. I think I have the full four and four Planeswalkers, though. I do. So maybe it's like having two drops and things like that. 
Okay. So still no haste, which is pretty good. For each other goblin you control? Oh, fuck. Wait, that's... Bad. And they can see the top of their deck because they have conspicuous snoop. Okay. Uh, and now they can activate... Okay, but it's summoning six, so that's fine. Okay. Yeah, I think we're just... We got block here, and then... We're still taking a lot. One, two, three, four, five... Yeah, and the goblin lackey is here as well. Okay, I'm just gonna go next. Yeah, this one doesn't seem like a good matchup for me. I think this current like wave of control decks that I've been playing will very much so lose to goblins like all the time, every time. I think you need to have like multiple dress downs in order to win this one. Or like torpor orb or weird stuff. And I don't play those cards right now. Oh, and they have Skirk Prospector too, right? Yeah, okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. It's fine, it's fine. You don't have to you don't have to go through the motions here because I don't want to get hit that hard. We actually also just literally don't have a sideboard for this deck. Like I'm probably just not playing Canonist. <clears throat> Holy fuck, that's bad. Um. Wow. We have literally nothing. I mean, maybe certain. No, they don't have vile in this deck because they're playing food chain and ignoble hierarch. XD. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah, I kind of just clicked cards, dude. I mean, my other list has like um two veils and two canonists so perhaps i'm two cards overboard but again i also made this with like three seconds on the clock so i uh i will not argue that it is optimal in any capacity also the iteration canonist nonbo is kind of great but whatever it's fine actually that's not true we have bobble so maybe we can make it work this is substantially better we need to dodge canonist i mean cavern but once we do that, I think we're in a decent spot. And I think I'm just going to go through all of these. <sighs> okay, well, <laughs> of course, Cavern is on top of the deck. Last time I bobbled my opponent, too, they had Cloud Post, and I was super sad. Oh god, it's a lackey. This is not going to end well, is it? Come on, believe, believe, believe. We believe. Nice. All right. Believers rejoice. There is forever justice. We are going to get fucking smashed. Oh my god, I am not looking forward to this. Uh... Uh oh. Yeah. Oh. Um. Well. Believe. 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 Hey, there you go. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. You're getting a little bit of faith, right? Just a little bit. Proof of concept. Yeah. Exactly. Right. Unbanned Death Ride Shaman because fucking Goblin Lackey. 80 cards, by the way. Very nice. Next turn, Narset or Iteration? Um, Really tough question, actually. Eh, is it that tough? Maybe it's not. We should shuffle, though. I don't want the uh, next two cards. And I might even end up... I, I don't think there's anything I can force here. What the heck is this? Actually, okay. That's fine, right? This is just a 2-1 for now. Uh, let's see. What are they going to put on top of their deck? Here, here, I would love to have, like, Predict Ringleader, okay? Hmm. Sure. Volcanic. Untap. Yeah, so I think I just have to play Iteration here. Wow, these are some pretty pathetic cards.
all things considered, they are pretty bad. They did, yeah. Kitten just came online. Uh, I would say earlier this week, maybe with the update. Yikes. I mean, they cycled it, but they cycled into the one card that really matters here. So we'll take four. Uh, I'm going to just shuffle here, save some time. Uh, I could try to play around. I can get Mystic Sanctuary for iteration, but that doesn't seem so great here. Gross. Hmm. I'm going to change the song here. Let's go to this one. Okay. So we take four. Oh, we are deep in this song. What the heck? Down to thirteen. Okay, that's fine. Let's um playable life total. Not great, but Okay, Caracas is pretty fucking Medium, but it's like not the worst in the world. There's a whooshing whenever I talk. That's traffic from outside. Just cars are driving up and down. I have my door closed right now so that like my audio doesn't go down the hall. Uh, okay, that is. How much mana do I need to combo off on the same turn? A lot, right? Mm. No respect for swords. Honestly, I actually think this is probably the most mediocre attack because like you don't even care if the narcissist in play i think you could have just gotten two points of extra damage in here but sure swords i have another ringleader i mean they didn't respect it last time so I think I should bounce the Boggart, maybe? How about bouncing it? Yeah, this doesn't have haste. Okay, we drew a second one. Nice. So Teferi can survive. Now if we untap and draw Cat, we can actually... I don't know what we can do here. We'd have to get like really lucky and chain some crazy draws together. Was it good in Vintage? I don't know if it's good in Vintage. Um, We're 1-0. We went... We did not do well in the last league. We went like one and three. That was Siege Gang Lieutenant. Fuck. Maybe I'm still supposed to go after the ringleaders. I should have maybe done that with this on the stack so that they can't just like do whatever, but yeah, we're like in deep trouble here. Okay. So we're not like completely punished here, but Or rather, we, we did do the punishing. I guess uh, that's not too bad. All right. Fingers are fucking crossed. 
We are at 10. Oh, they're going to combat here? Sure. Now everything is coming at Teferi. So I think it's just... I'm 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 an actual idiot. I should have put Yorian in my hand here. Fuck. I was thinking about Mystic Sanctuary and Express Obliteration. I really should have just put Yorian in my hand. Um, one, two, three. Okay, to ferry down. That was really bad, dude. Twice I've already messed up in this game, huh? I mean, if I played a little bit sharper, I would have been able to win, or I would have been in a much better position, but. Ending against this is not very good, huh? Because we don't have uh, the fourth color. Which is something I could consider. What? No shot. Let's get the Sanctuary here. We'll target the Iteration. I cannot believe I'm getting value out of this Force of Will. That is actually just unreal. I mean, it's very clear what's going on here. They're, they're going to try to play Lackey uncounterably, but I will snap up this in a heartbeat. Yeah, I think Goblins is um, surprisingly not even, like, that poorly off, you know? Like, I think the there's a Tribal deck that I'm scared of. It's actually just Goblins, not Elves, not, like, D&T or whatever. Okay. I'll just use this mana here. We'll just like take two points. I mean they probably play the next ring later this turn though, right? They haven't drawn a single land this like like in the last few turns, which means their hand is all gas. Which is maybe the scariest thing to think about. What's the cat? It's called Displacer Kitten. Let's see if they go back into combat here again. Okay, here's another cavern. Which We know they have Muxes. I'm pretty sure they have this ringleader too, right? So what's going on with that? If I had like, put this into my hand last turn, this, this board state would have been a lot less bad. Look how much hair I have in the back of my head. Holy moly. And it's long. It's super long. Wow. All right. Wow. Rough. Well, I guess they have to discard now. At least one card. Ooh, value. Probably just using the EE this turn. Taking five and no, taking four going down to five. Wait, they didn't discard? No, they discarded a matron. No, wait, wait, they didn't discard. I'm going crazy. Not good. Uh, I may have mistapped here. I almost certainly mistapped here. Yeah, I needed to fetch and then... Alright, never mind. I don't think it mattered then. Hmm. Okay. Well, good thing I didn't fetch, otherwise I'd just be dead. <clears throat> I 
very bottlenecked on mana here. I actually don't know what our out is, quite honestly. Because they still have Muxus coming up next turn, too. Oof. Force. All right, we're just dead. All right, not a good matchup. Um, not surprised about this outcome. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I usually wear them. Yeah. I cannot. Terminus's mom, you need a freaking name. Actually, is that your name? Legally binding, first name Terminus, last name mom? I'm down. It it happened so fast. You, you blinked and you missed it, Eli. You blinked and you missed it. Also, wait, you heard about this. What the hell? What does that mean? Does that mean that people are talking about me getting my butt pounded by, by goblins somewhere on the internet? Hmm. Who is the secret of, the legion of goblin conversing, uh, I don't know, people? I think I think Goblins has like a fine Delver matchup. I don't think it's like the end of the world. Like Wasteland will fuck you up, but sure. Oh god, of course. Wait, can you guys even hear the music? All right, well, I'll turn it up a little bit. It was like half as loud as this. It was like 50 decibels. The cars outside are louder. That's a problem. Generally speaking, I try to use the music to drown out the audio from outside, but you know. Can I please show the list? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we're we're like nothing here is set in stone. This is the list that we've got right now. Um, I I don't know if it's good. All right, so these twelve cards are like combo cards. I I don't know. I guess iteration has felt kind of weak actually. So I think I think I would go back to saying like Jeff maybe maybe right here. Iteration definitely did not feel very good. Um, so we might end up going back to. We might end up going back to Esper or I don't I don't know about Esper though. Maybe what about Bant? How how does Bant feel? How about Bant? And this is scrapped. I do not want this. I don't want to look at this. This was the other list that we played. Um I think it's very possible to just play this list too and then like tune it a little bit. Like for example, I think I'll start by chopping the dazes. I don't really like Mox Amber, I'll be very honest. Mox Amber could be in the sideboard. That is a very interesting thought didn't particularly cross my mind for now i will just chuck it and i i do think i want a 20th land at least i think this was the version oh this was the version i was messing with shoot all right well i'm just going to delete this whatever it's fine they're all the same okay all right so looking at this Oh, and my, my classic 30-card sideboard. Nice. Um, we don't need these. I don't think we need these. There's just got to be something better, right? There must be something better than Baleful Strix. We could, try, we could try a lot of things here. My thought process was by adding Yorion, Iteration, and more value to the deck, you make the deck a little bit less reliant on like finding the kitten, the kitten combo. Like, I think Iteration... Obviously, well, maybe not obviously, but I think in in my opinion, it provides more value than Baleful Strix does. Mm, yeah, I think it provides more value than Baleful Strix does, and that gives you a better standalone package that just happens to like stumble into the combo at certain stages. But it seems like so far we have not been able to put together anything, so I don't know. So yeah, I don't know. It's also a true two drop, which I think matters a lot. Maybe this is just better. Like just keep the Emperor in the sideboard. And have something like this. Yeah, this could be better. Oops, where'd it go? Seven's Reclamation. Okay, so, so far, matchups where I would want the Mox Amber combo potential have been Cloud Post and Goblins. Other matchups I just don't care about. If any, we went 1 3 in the first one, and we're 1 1 right now. But we're taking a different list. I think we're just. It's just a matter of like going back to the drawing board over and over again until we find something that hits or doesn't. I will say that perhaps I should have just stuck with Esper and like iterated on that to see what happens, but I did want to try the Jessica idea first to get that out of my... My meeting actually got canceled. Give me a sec, guys. In that case, I'm just going to... <sighs> What's Mind Goblin? You know, I'm going to throw this one back at you, all right? Hey, three land, seven mana. I'm going to ask you a question. Did you know... Did you know that 10 plus 10 equals 11 plus 11? Yeah, let's do some math. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna mine goblins some breakfast. Hey, that's classy. Let's see, format. Have I, have I already said this on stream? I don't know if I have. 
I saw this mathematical proof the other day. I was like, wow, this is crazy. You've seen like those proofs that are like one equals zero or whatever. 10 plus 10 and 11 plus 11. Oh my God. Why would you say that, Sullivan? That's so fucking... No, don't do that. No. <laughs> All right. Who can tell me what 10 plus 10 is? Nobody? Come on. I, there's 331. Very intelligent. What base are we in? You mother... It's, we're in base 10. We're in base 10. That point nine repeating is one. Okay, that actually sounds like an actual mathematical proof. I'm just trying to make a dad joke. You agree that 10 plus 10 equals 20, right? Ah, okay, perfect. All right, la yeah, that's the joke. And 11 plus 11 is 22. Okay, thank you, last. But, uh, you know, you 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 seem like a very, you seem like a very uh, wise papa. I tried telling this to um, a couple dads in the DMV legacy chat or MDVA legacy chat. And uh, they were like, unfazed by it they're like yeah this is like basic shit if that 0.9 repeating is also is one also proves one equals zero uh oh i mean i guess i guess 10 plus 10 is 100 in binary wait in binary uh okay yeah i guess that's true did i say binary i meant base 10 i, I think i said base 10 okay magic let's let's go back to this um you know what card would be perfect for this deck you know what card would be absolutely perfect for this deck hmm. something about this doesn't feel right Astrolabe is banned in modern, right? There's no way this card is legal in modern. Fucking insane to me that this fucking card, this pathetic one mana artifact, is banned in like one of two of the most powerful formats. Yeah, it's banned in modern. Okay. Yeah. So crazy to me. This pathetic fucking one mana cycling artifact just blew everything up. Banned in popper too. Oh my god. The power of one. And yet Merc Tide. Okay, what's stronger? Merc Tide or Astrolabe? Sending out an email for one sec. And this fucking mix is a bop and a half. Hello? <laughs> I do remember playing Blood Moon in my deck. Yes, that was fucking actually ridiculous. Insanely absurd. Um, I am happy to have cut the... I don't know. Do you really think this deck can play 19 lands? I mean, 19 lands was working very well. No, but we're playing literal three cats. Dude, Emperor is so fucking good. This card is actually insane. Mm. Oh my goodness, you know what? I was thinking about this deck. While we have some time to kill, fuck it. Um, do you guys remember this crazy deck? Hold up, we're gonna try and like Hold on, I think I think this is do you guys remember this deck? It was like this ancient tomb, and then it had just like a billion fucking things. Fairy Oh god. Alright. Card call to fairy time raveler. Something like this. I forget I forget the rest of it. Probably want like Azorius Signet in this deck. But yeah, there have been a couple new planeswalkers that have come out that I think merit looking at this deck again just for fucking shits and giggles. I'm not gonna say it's actually good. I, I just I genuinely just do think like this deck was kind of ridiculous to play. And now that you have access to potentially Wandering Emperor and Minsk and Boo, you have uh thoughts on playing Odawara? In uh, which deck? Our curve is actually insanely high. Yeah, in, in the uh, in the other deck, three four drops. That's fucking ridiculous. Okay, cool. Astrolabe should have needed Snowman to activate. Yeah, I think so too. Or or just more restrictions. The way it was was like kind of crazy. YouTube CFB uh, Planeswalker Stompy. Hmm. Hmm. A little bit sad that we lost that one. Hello. Is it prison? Is that is this the list? No, I don't think this is the list. This deck has like Splinter Twin in it. Okay. Wow. Oh my god. Is that what my hair used to look like? Don't look at me. Wow. You're telling me. Wow. I have Okay, alright, that's really bad. Holy shit. <laughs> Guys, I think I've let go a little bit. Oh no. Um in all seriousness though, yes, I think I would play Minsk and Boo and Legacy, yes. I think that card is actually just kind of crazy. I had clean lines. Yeah, you could definitely see it. But I think this is also back when I lived in San Diego where I actually had my like a tr I had a barber I trusted, like, you know what I mean? And then, you know what happened? I went to a place here and this is what happened. This is what fucking happened. And so now I have to wait until this shit grows back out before like I can ever care about my hair again. I don't know. It's it's like probably not true. Probably not true. I just need to find someone who's actually good. No, there's a place that'll open at 10 a.m. that I could go to today. Oh, this is the list. Yes. 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 Beautiful. I have to imagine there are some number of tundras. I don't know how much I care about. 
playing Dak Faden in this deck anymore. Oh, wow. There was Karn as well. Were we really out here, huh? Liquid Metal. Oh, but Liquid Metal Torque makes you want to play the Dak Faden. Okay. Well, the reason I was interested in this is because... Um, I'm just going to throw some random shit in here. How many lands is this? 21 lands? Scalding Torque? We're playing Fetch Lands? No fucking way. Okay, that's kind of incredible. Um, what was I going to say? I wanted to try Wandering Emperor in this deck. That's probably like the only real playable Planeswalker that's come out in recent. I don't even know how good Karn is, to be completely honest. And I think Azoria Signet is just a better card overall than Liquid Metal Torque. Although I will say, though, that Narset is quite is pathetically hard to cast <clears throat> this match in this deck. So, Right? Like, I guess I would want... I actually don't even know how good Karn is in this deck, to be completely honest. I'm certain Wandering Emperor is better than Teferi Hero of Dominaria. Jace the Mind Sculptor. It's kind of crazy how Jace is kind of a joke now. And off-centered in all these photos. This is so ridiculous. Has it always been like that? There's no way. How long till the next round? Three more matches left. Okay. Dovin Hand of Control. Is it Signet as well? No, I promise. I promise. I, I When I'm in like a, a different state of mind, I... Take a lot better care of myself with oath of what nissa oath of nissa i don't know oath of nissa and chalice of the wood don't really go well together has it really been half an hour already since i put this song on no shit okay did not feel like half an hour but i guess i'm hanging out seven's reclamation i think that could be pretty good too very specifically for delver it could be in like the sideboard i do believe in mana ramp in a decent decent capacity as well uh really nothing else Where's Kanakan's deck again? Yo, hear me out. Three Mox Opal, two Orza, 16 artifacts to make this work. 16 artifacts to make Mox Opal work, really? Uh, and that includes Chalice of the Voids. Could we actually, is there is there a chance that this is the deck for Displacer Cat? No shot, right? No way. Hmm, actually, maybe. Wait a minute. Actually, maybe. No cap. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to add more lands eventually. I just kind of got bored of that part. I like get rid of garbage, Jace. Hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That was gruesome. We don't have very many blue cards, do we? Uh, 868 eight is 20. No, that's 18. No, that's 22. Okay, math. Good math. Lotus Petal. We would want Lotus Petal. Maybe over the baubles, in fact. Yeah. 23 land you're playing 23 lands in that deck chief what Trinosphere? wait where Fog? wait is this like cracked i don't know if i want seat of the synod but it is a land goldmire bridge no shot he's actually playing goldmire bridge and does this deck want like urza saga it's another card that you could play four is too many you think i mean we're not playing brainstorm or ponder I'm more concerned about... Wait, no, we don't actually have 22. We only have 20 blue cards. So, like, realistically speaking, is this a good Mox Amber deck? Well, you need... You, Mox Amber wouldn't cast... Mo Mox Opal and Mox Amber are basically the same thing, right? So, and I think Mox Opal is st strictly better. as this? Oh, man. This could have potential. Doesn't seem like the fastest deck, though. And actually, Chalice on Zero works as a combo piece as well, right? No, this must be this deck must be like Giga Troll. There's no way. Interplanar beacon for eight planeswalkers, ten planeswalkers, that's fucking cap. Two talismans. I think Signet's kinda cracked, actually. Yeah, and Interplanar Beaker doesn't even cast the Narsets. Like what the fuck? Okay, now that card needs to get the fuck out. Uh Alright, fine, Jace. Wait, no, we need lands. We need lands more than anything else. Saga, Chalice. We have no removal outside of Emperor and This deck is just asking to get destroyed by Meltdown though. Pro Mox? That's not bad. Actually, I take it back. I think it is bad because we have too many mana sources, like 34 colorless cards. What I actually think we need is just more payoff, right? No, we first we need to fix our mana. I think secretly those need to be here. Odawara. Yeah, that could be good in this deck. Um, but any shot for like duels? What are we trying to do? I don't really know. That's a good question. I mean, I'm trying to assemble this combo. 
these two and any zero mana artifact. Um, why not brainstorm and ponder? Yeah, because of chalice. I mean, maybe they're better. But we need artifacts for Mox Opal. We can't play Lions at Diamond. <laughs> I'm just trying to wait for. Oh, next round's in 40 seconds. Okay, I think we're good. I'm dying. <coughs> Active negation. I don't think it. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm dying. Um, I don't. I don't know. I don't think it has that much of a home here, unfortunately. Did the other deck play Lotus Petal, the Planeswalker deck? Where's the link to that? Uh, oh, it did not. <clears throat> it played six of these. I guess it also didn't have Mox Opals either. All right, reveal. Um. Oh, this hand is kind of poor. I'm not gonna mulligan this because I mean we have spells we can cast and stuff, but like it's not a great hand. I'm gonna keep this. Okay, reclamation is fine. Well, we're one and one right now in this league or this uh, event. I think if I wanted to win, I probably would have played the other deck though. My four color deal. Damn, I'm like stuck on this. I really want to focus on this and see what I can get with it. Oh, you can't see it. My bad. I really want to figure out how to build this deck. Um, like it's bothering me now. In fact, there's a chance that we're just not supposed to play Force of Will at all. More Emperors. This doesn't, this deck doesn't really give you much value for the, oh shit, I figured it out. Wait. Huh? Huh? Maybe? No? Okay. All right. Never mind. I'll stop trolling. Go back to the match. Ponder is fine. Flooded strand. Wait, they brainstormed end step and then untapped and pondered. That's not a good sign. We have a force of will though, which is like not enough. I'm playing legacy right now, Yeti. Yeah, but the problem is, is like we're cutting cards like Thought Knots here and Oriak Salvagers for fucking... <laughs> <laughs> Displacer cat. I think ultimately the best build will just be the one that like close to what Jeff started with. Hey, Bulgogi, thank you for the resub. Did you know if you have Amazon Prime, you have a free Twitch Prime subscription? Twitch Prime lets you redeem one sub every month to check if it's available and subscribe to the channel. I mean, I'm literally reading what my, my chat is saying. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's genuinely just not me trying to shill and, and get your Bezos bucks. Although, I, you, you should. You should just use your Twitch Prime on this channel. Let's be real here. You know you're going to get good value out of it. <clears throat> what about a blue-white painter shell then? Fiddlebender was always weak in that shell. <coughs> Excuse me. So if this is a Merc Tide coming down, I think I just have to force it. One, two, three. I'll probably just pitch the Snapcaster Mage. Mm. Oh, come on. Okay, how many is this? One, two, three, four, six, seven, seven. Legitimately gross. Um, so here I suppose what I can do is just... Oh, it's a 6-6. Six, six. Oh, that's not that bad. Sure. So let's draw. I might just iterate off a of basic mountain here. Tundra. That's a good draw. Very nice. Bye. Okay, nice. Good stuff. <clears throat> Good stuff. So we know they don't have days anymore. They might have lightning bolt. But we can play around lightning bolt if we find kitten and something like a one mana spell or something to protect uh they bend a wasteland. Okay, that's awesome. That's actually really good. 
I'm kind of hoping that they extend into this engineered explosive so we can mitigate the impact of the expressive iteration. That seems like it'd be very important. Appreciate that, Bulgogi. Appreciate that a lot. Hey. I promise that's not me tooting. Um... Kerplow. First force was used to... All right, I'm going to close that door really quick. Yeah. And uh I think I'm going to Yeah, I'm just gonna main phase this. I don't really see a reason to give them any surveil value off of the Dragon's Race channeler. I don't know yet, El Tassi. Can't quite promise you anything yet, but it has potential. So that's what we're trying to figure out. I don't think this Jeskai guy list. I think I think iteration is just not it. Um, I think also maybe it's worth it to look into like. Okay, that's fine. Um, some sort of version that has. Mm -hmm. That's that's the combo, right? I'll look into some version that has Baleful Strix and Icewing Coatl. I'm not 100% sure, really. $3 full art foil ledger shredders. Jesus. <sighs> okay, all right, whatever, dude. Cringe. It's fine. And we can't even get it back with uh, <clears throat> this non-bow, but I guess we have Teferi. Okay, wait, never mind. Wait, what did the what the fuck? Fire Islet is so not um stock. <clears throat> Brightling in all caps. Alright, so we get wastelanded here. I think that's fine. Don't really care. We have four mana in basics, which I think is more important than whatever. Um, there might be another pyroblast somewhere, so I'm going to just jam. Yeah, I I dislike it though. Uh, C four. Try that. Try deck instead. Dude, I just need to. Cool. I'm, I'm gonna tick up here. They've already used one pyroblast, so the chance that they have a second one, kind of unlikely. Okay, this is a good exchange. Also, I'm going to do this to... Uh, all right, cool. So double bolt, two cards in hand. We'll just get to Seven's Reclamation, the Teferi now, and things will be fine. Mistress Bobble is so whatever. It's kind of crazy, right? They've iterated three times now, and they're still they're like behind on cards massively, which I think is kind of cool. My turn. Hmm. That's kind of cool. I 
I almost want to just iterate again because I think it's fucking funny. I mean, we just need more cards now at this point, right? Oh, should I have gotten Plateau? We didn't play a land this turn, right? No, we didn't. So we have a, a land drop up with this as well. Wow, okay. Yeah, Caracas is just like really bad right now. Oh, could I have sanctuary there? For Oh, okay, I see what you think. Keep going. Yeah, keep the train going. Yeah, it's still in the deck. I think honestly we'll probably end up like using it on something like uh swords. <clears throat> Okay. It's a one card in hand, so I think we're safe now. So the Reclamation resolves. Um, they have to have exactly force of negation, which is no way they have. I forget what's on top of my deck. It's a plateau. Oh, put that, put that back in the deck. Shit. It's okay. We can de deal with that later. And now they should just be strangled into oblivion. And we haven't even like tapped into our secret power yet, right? With the bird, the bird in the sky. <clears throat> Agreed. Agreed, men. Agreed. Feels good. I'm going to, what, recast the Murktide here? I think should be fine. There's a 5-5, five, five. sure. So they've depleted all their instants and sorceries. Now, there's still three card types in the graveyard, which is somewhat annoying. Land, creature, and artifact from the Mishra's Bobble, but I think we'll that'll be fine. Brazen Bar, just main phasing it. Also smart. If we draw a cat, we just win. But we have... Yeah, or, or removal spell wins too, right? Yeah, like this is... This is just it. Lights out. Um. Yeah, I'll take the shot here. We did not find it. Okay. I think I'm far enough ahead where I get, I'm allowed to shuffle that. And then I should have tapped the mountain, perhaps, but I mean the volcanic, perhaps, but so they can't like wasteland it. But I think we're far enough ahead where I can just shuffle that and like, yeah, they can see it. Look for, I get really greedy, you know. Um, we'll just cut some of these. Okay, simple. Ins outs. Like our main deck in general is just very good against this matchup. Well, not exactly, but. We'll have grinding power. We'll channel our inner Wafo Tapa. All right, breathe. The honey cam is back. Yes, I I don't know exactly what happened. For some reason, the um the link that I'm using changed, so wasn't able to pull in properly. Does this mean this is the best build of the best deck in the format now? That's a great question. No, I think I think the problem is is like Delver is just being like aggressively over targeted in paper. I mean in online. So I think like you have a lot of people that are gonna play it, but not a lot of people are going to like crush with it. I think the people that can crush with any iteration of Delver will continue to crush. Felipe, thank you for the follow. Welcome. Also, hey Boston, I didn't see this earlier, but thank you for the bits. Yo, straight up, thank you. I don't think that changes anything theoretically about like Merktide region or things like that. Like I think it's still like kind of a bullshit card. But uh Yeah, Romano. Um I'm 
So th it's a three-card combo involving Kitten, um, any zero-mana artifact, and Teferi. And so the idea is that with Kitten, Teferi, and the zero-mana artifact in play, or, or rather, with Kitten and Teferi in play, um, yeah, even even uh, having the artifact, you bounce the artifact, draw a card, replay the artifact, Kitten will flicker the Teferi, then you bounce the artifact again, draw a card, and you rinse and repeat and draw your whole deck. I'm hoping that um, I still don't really know how I'm going to afford SCG Syracuse, SCG Con Syracuse, because it's like a it's like an eight hundred dollar ticket or something like that, and uh, that is unfortunately a bit too much for me right now. This is a great pair pairing of cards, so I'm trying to try and draw all three of them if I can. We don't have any actual removal for the Dragon's Rage channel, and there's a chance we'll have to like fetch red next turn in order to pyroblast something. So push comes to shove, I think I'm going to take these three cards. How much is a flight to Columbus? Oh, Sam suggested the same thing, like Ohio. Um, The flights to New York are direct and not bad, but then there's a commute to... There's a commute to um, Syracuse that's another four hours. All the flights that I've seen to New York, though, are about 12 hours. So I'd literally be spending 32 hours in transit to get there and back home. Um, yeah, I mean, there's also my Patreon. Let's see if this works. There are, like, different tiers there that you can help out. Oh, and Nassif wanted to cast? Yeah, that'd be sweet. I would love to... Uh, Work with Nassif. He, know, I don't think he reached out to me, but good to hear that. Excuse me. Um, good to hear that because Nassif is fucking badass. All right, so we're gonna hold up Pyroblast through days here. Next turn, they're probably just gonna iterate just a generic play sequence. They're not doing anything this turn, so. But massive thanks to people who are interested in helping. I mean, I know like you're going out of your way to do that, and it really, it really does. Like, it really does help a lot. Um, yeah, somewhat sh sh short of words. It's like I get like shy when it comes to being like thankful, but I prom I promise I am I'm extremely grateful for like whatever help. Like I can show you. I think I haven't quite yet. Oh no, I think I just crossed the uh, Seattle ticket ten thousand dollar expense amount but like here's the other thing too which is like like my real plan for this kind of stuff is um this is fine question mark is like just doing more and more sponsored streams like i think uh that is currently just the best approach to Getting what I need to get, how I need to get. Without like, you know, bothering you guys too much, you know what I mean? So I hate to really do this, but I think I'm gonna do this and maybe this will bait out an iteration here. They see, oh, Pyroblast is gone, so see what I can. Wait, he can actually break dance and spin? No fucking way. That is kind of sick nasty. Holy shit. It's something that requires like a lot of coordination, but also like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I'm mean, not gonna lie. Actually, I I don't know. Yeah, I I could see Nasif doing it. The yellow hat of steel. I'll take three. We're gonna go down to fourteen now. Not too bad. Tayo, thank you for the follow. Welcome. Also, Emhan, thank you as well. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Appreciate. Let us go ahead and... Grab an island. Here, I'll make this a little bit hard for you, opponent. Here's a mentor. This is a throwback. Wolf. Ch 
chain lightning. Okay. Interesting. So I cannot actually beat the wait, actually. Um no, I cannot actually beat the chain lightning, so we're just gonna make more monks here. Now I would be reasonably upset if their curve now is like iteration this turn. We'll see what happens. They could also just like bolt right here. Oh sure. It's fine. Unfortunately, they get to see the chain lighting and they're keeping it on top of their deck, but we have our two um monks, so there's there's a there's a potential chance here. Okay, that's a solid draw. And we also have the prismatic ending. I forgot about this. We have the Ending to handle the Dragon's Rage Channeler, Pyroblast for Murktide, and then Flusterstorm as well for whatnot, so. I think I'm just going to yield for the turn here. I don't care too much about... Reclamation, woof. Okay, wait a minute, that's cracked. <laughs> that's like probably like one of my best draws, right? Dude, every time I see this card in this matchup, I'm just like, it's over. Part of me was wondering if there was like, um, if there was like, a, I don't know, an ETB deal one damage card or something like that. You know, as soon as they print that in like red green, ETB ping, like for red, green, ETB ping, like 1-1 one, one or something like that. Oh my god, that'll be so broken. Okay, that's a mulligan. I look at Wasteland as a mulligan in this matchup-ish. Dragon. Counter. Mordox, thank you for the follow. Welcome. Uh, you know, I also could have main phased this for two extra points of damage. We'll see what happens. Yeah, I think I could have done this on my... Well, the turn, the sequence here is like... Blue Blast. What the fuck? Now I get to untap and like Narset instead, which arguably is arguably better. Blue Blast. That is... This is how you know the format is starting to get a little bit more degenerate. Um, they exiled one, two, three, four. Turn off auto yields just in case. It sounds like they have something. Never mind, they have nothing. This one seems like it's a wrap, yeah. I wonder what happened. How did we actually get this ahead? Oh, they didn't draw iteration, okay. Uh, I probably should have just played the EE on one. Um, Get two more points of damage in. There's not much else I'm gonna use to kill, right? It's just for the one drops, so I should have probably just done that, that's fine. Another dragon? Oh, shit. That's actually fine, right? Let's see, they have to find exactly Bolt now. And they have zero cards in hand, so it's Bolt or Bust. And I think we can beat that anyways, right? They Bolt one of the tokens, we just play EE on zero and Teferi, and then just uh, Pyroblast. Annoying. Um... Sure. <laughs> Why don't they play it in Pioneer, right? XD. Okay. 
They're probably dead on board somehow next turn. I don't know how, but they're probably dead on board. All right, we cast three spells next turn and we win. So we can go like Reclamation back to Fairy, down tick on the explosives. If we draw a land, we can just ending. Hmm. Yeah, we can go explosives into ending the explosive. We have to draw exactly a white source though, so. Uh, how do I feel about this? All right, resolves. That's fine. Bluster, then bounce the EE and win. Um, no, but then we still lose to the bolt, right? Or maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Yeah, unfortunately that doesn't count, but uh, let's see, I'll just do this. Wait, actually, hold up. We're just punching for one. I don't really know if we need to get super greedy here. Yeah, we can actually just not really slow roll this, but kind of slow roll this. All right. And that should just be the nail in the coffin, right? Okay, so I guess we're beating up on Delver one way or another with Esper or Red. Hmm. Okay, that's fine. I think we could have maybe ended the game this turn if we had, like, used our removal spells in different ways instead, but I cannot actually imagine a world where this matters in any capacity. Sanctuary, sure. Unbolt. Wait, that's really fucking annoying. Mm. Okay, wait a minute. Actually, cringe. Because now... Uh, we'll just get back the mentor then. It's okay. It's not a big deal. Or kill them with a Snapcaster Mage. There's literally so many different ways we could do this. <clears throat> they are Salami and I am the Knife. State of mind. So here's an interesting thought, though. Like, their deck fucking blows if they don't have iteration. Like, they just got ground into the dirt. So, yeah, maybe I would argue that if uh, iteration and Murktide go, then the Delver just is not a deck any longer. That or it becomes, like, full tempo. It just returns to what it should be. I actually think, I mean, but I don't think that's going to be that good because of, like, Prismatic Ending. I don't know. It's it's unfortunate. Well, I don't know if it's actually unfortunate. Um, I think uh, all the format management nonsense has sort of made me like a little bit more heartless to Delver as a deck. I will give you days, but if your deck fucking blows without Murktide or Iteration, I don't I don't really care. I, mean, I don't think anyone is I don't think anyone is really sympathetic. Yeah, I wouldn't be really surprised if. Uh, Wizard's analysis on the win rate of Delver is accurate. What I will say, though, is um, I think the reason that Delver is in check is because, well, first of all, I think it's interesting to to make the claim that it can be kept in check. Okay, that's one thing. 
and that is what Watsi is saying, and I don't think we are really in a position to like sort of like defy that. Um, first thing that you can't keep it in check. I think the second reason is the reason it is in check is because we've just completely warped our decks to sort of beat up on it, right? Like main deck pyroblast dot deck dot format, and I also wonder, like how the the gods of Delver win with Delver, you know? I Dan, yeah, Dan, that is that is my thesis as well. Have I written anything to support it? No, but I just hate fucking seeing main deck Pyroblast. The last time Pyroblast was main deck was like fucking Treasure Cruise, and that was not a good format. Yes, I do agree with that too. Well, okay, I don't I don't necessarily agree with that too. Like, I think Ren and Six Delver was really really hard to beat, and I think the and the, with the how you went about that was literally by playing. I don't recall any other ways that actually worked. You were okay with Ren and Six Delver? Yeah, even like Oko was a thing too, right? Hmm. I'm so excited to get a haircut. Holy shit. Isn't that depressing to think about, though? Random? Like, if you think about it? Because <laughs> it's still so, like, fundamentally... I just think, like, expressive iteration... Like, I don't want to be mean, but it was not a well-designed card. Mm. I don't know, Jeff. I feel like you were fine for both personally. I don't know about the average, though. What was the last well-designed card? Uh, I'm a huge fan of Elvish Reclaimer. I think that's a very well-designed card. Personally, I think Dragon's Rage Channeler is also pretty well-designed. Um, RC definitely on the on the upper tier of good, but not broken. Wandering Emperor, I think, is also pretty good, too. Originally, I was like, this card is just bad, but the more I've seen it, the more I'm very impressed with it, not just in Legacy, but also in like Modern and um, like Pioneer, too. Okay, s sit down with the Siege Rhino shit. <laughs> uh... Dress Down is also a very good card too. Yes, I, I think that there have been a lot of hits, and I and I and I want to stress that right. Just like like inject some positivity into our veins is like we 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 do often tend to like look at all the bad cards and be like, wow, fucking Ren and Six and Modern or like you know Merc Tide and in Legacy. But there have been a lot of very good cards that have been printed that I'm I'm ex I'm happy about. Like Munitions Expert, for example, that's a great card. Thassa's Oracle, totally okay. Yep, yep, chat, totally okay. Tameshi is kind of a cool card too, yeah. I don't know if Tameshi is like great or or good, but it is cool for sure. I, I agree too. Like Modern Horizons 1 was fucking miserable, but Modern Horizons 2 was much, much, much more well done. Ledger Shredder is also a good design too, I think. At least for Modern and like, I don't know too much about its power level in Pioneer. Um is also well designed i think yeah i think these are there's so many yeah i'm, I'm so happy you guys are all like saying this because there's like you know you're seeing a bunch of bunch of bunch of very good cards yeah hogak and fucking ren and six were pathetic like pioneer ledger, pioneer ledger shredder i think makes a lot of sense you're discarding arc like Minus must feel like just like must just like like i know like sex feels great but like have you ever discarded arc like phoenix to like a ledger shredder like that kind of like meme level worthy you know that is interesting right i mean and honestly symmetry is what makes shredder probably better than worse like if it was one-sided and only procced when you did things it probably wouldn't be half as good or maybe it would be twice as good i don't really know it's one direction or the other right i would lean towards it be worse if it was only you discarding or oval chase yeah i saw the deck that spike played with the um the food and i thought that was uh kind of cracked shredder oval chase and then um honestly you know that riddle smith is uh modern legal and i'm surprised that nobody's really playing it does that deck play unmarked grave because i mean that is Kind of nasty. Can you imagine? Riddlesmith, Unmarked Grave, Ledger Shredder. How much value is that? That must be like a lot of value, right? Hey, you don't really have like, you know, you don't really get access to like like the zero mana artifacts that make Riddlesmith truly terrifying. But you have, what, you know, you actually only have like Mistress Bobble, right? Is that the only one? Maybe like Engineered Explosives. Yeah, Mox Amber also exists. But neither of those two creatures that I mentioned are like, you know, like Ragavan, that's a legend. That's not too bad. Emery is also a legend. Not too bad. Mox Amber sees play an Underworld Breach. Banger. Holy shit. Is that is that the play? Riddlesmith and Underworld Breach? Wait a minute. Because that could be pretty cool, right? I mean, it's kind of weak. Removal spells. But I think that deck plays like, what, four, four Monkeys, four Emerys, four Shredders, blah, 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 blah. What do I think about Wafo Jeskai? I think it's very good. Um, It's not my favorite type of deck to play. I think it's pretty good. Yeah, sure. in modern or legacy coin man, because I think in in mod in legacy I would definitely look towards like some sort of like sevens reclamation deck. I don't know what else I would discard though. There was the deck that got ninth place, right? With like um oh, but that was a Riddlesmith deck. Never mind. No shredder. 
Okay, Ethan, look, I know you woke up today and chose violence, but I'm going to have to kindly ask you to put it back in. Like, put that shit away. <laughs> Can you imagine? Actually, I think Breach may have been too bad for... I mean, sorry, Iteration probably was too bad for Legacy Breach. I mean, Legacy Breach was so compact. It really wasn't much like Wiggle Room, you know? Which is kind of crazy to think about. On Blastable Thats. Yeah, I think that's true. Mentor is a good one. Safari, Narset. Se I mean, Seven's Reclamation, honestly, is just like... Wait, Breach played Predict? Why were we playing Predict and Breach again? I forgot. How do you even reliably resolve Predict? Okay, wait a minute. Hold up. Uh, Rodrigo, Tagoras, Underworld. Yeah, but what the fuck was Predict doing in the day? How the hell do you ever resolve Predict? Do you have, like, a way to, like, actually get it? Holy fuck, there actually were two copies of Predict in this list. Oh my god. Ethan, I was wrong. Oh my god. <laughs> Counterbalance and cantrips? Yikes. Feels bad, man. Hey, Taki, how's it going? Yeah, so today and tomorrow, it'll be only Legacy. It'll be um, 1 a.m., 5 a.m., 9 a.m., 1 p.m., 5 p.m., 9 p.m. Today and tomorrow, so that's 3, 3, 2, 18 events in total? No. 24? 6, 6, 6, no, 3, 3, 3, 3. Fuck, I think I need to go to bed. <laughs> uh, 3, 3, 3, 3, is that correct? So 12 legacy events. The first one is done, the second is underway, and there will be 10 more upcoming. I start, it's just not a money-making format. That's just what it is, right? Like, if you think about in paper, like, how do they... It's not on Arena, they can't sell packs. Most players that play legacy, like, buy one card, and then they don't need to buy more cards afterwards. Duels are not getting reprinted, so, like... You have to think about how the format makes Wizards money, and it doesn't, so why would they support it? I mean, if you were in their shoes, you'd probably come to the same conclusion. But, you know, we're not, and so whatever it is. That would be insane. I know I created my event back in 2013 or 14, so I want to know who gets the... Uh, I want to know who gets the 20-year the account, you know what I mean? I feel like the people that have had their accounts for 20 years probably don't even play. I agree, Tux. I agree. I wish I could not sleep. But uh, you know, here I am. Yeah, the Brazil scene, the Brazil, um, just actually kind of insane in Italy. Brazil and Italy probably have two of the liveliest legacy scenes just in the world, period. Have I heard about this thing called what now? <laughs> there it is. <clears throat> There's the yawn. You have tournaments all around the country. Nice. Do you like to sleep or do you have to sleep? Well, so for me, um, it's weird. When my body wants to sleep, it just wants to sleep, and I, I cannot do much else. That is my problem, too. I think unsanctioned events are just where it's at for the future of Legacy. I don't know how you handle the proxy situation, and distributing proxies is, like, super fucking tough, too. Like, I, I think I'm just priced out at this point of the format. I cannot buy new cards. Like, I cannot buy, um, uh, like, underground seas. I just never will. They're a bit too much for me now. Um, I spent, like... $1,300 on my last duel, which was a tropical island, which is, like, admittedly, like, I was paying for aesthetics, but, like, still, like, you know, it's just a bit much. I can imagine. full Vintage, vintage honestly, like, it's, like, okay. If INF is playing Storm, we're fucked. Straight. Okay, it's not Storm. Nice. Should I hit him with the plateau? I don't really think I should, right? But no Moxon or duels. Yeah, they're just, they're a lot. I'm sorry. You picked some good decks though, right? Green, white, X, Maverick, and Depths. Those are good. Those are good for sure. I feel like like if you ever want to play magic, like like actually just play magic, that deck and like um D and T are the, the go to's. Uh I think I'm just gonna play land and pass. No reason for us to run into days here. Yeah, plus like even like in my situation, like like let me just real with you, like I'm gonna buy a house soon, I'm gonna have a kid soon, like where the fuck am I gonna get money for a piece of cardboard and admittedly it's probably more interesting to buy the cardboard and use it as like a savings thing like a investment or whatever the word is but 
So I think I'm going to go ahead and just like get rid of this before they iterate and get like surveil value. They might brainstorm here. I don't think I'm going to play around like spell pierce or anything that nobody plays that. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. Am I doing commentary this weekend for NRG? Yeah, there's a chance that I'll be headlining the whole thing. Um, specifically, there's a, like, depending on how like Joe, Joe's, feel, he's not feeling too well. So if you, um, can chat with him, you know, Wish him all the better, but um, if he's out of commission, then I think I'll be taking his role for the weekend, which is honestly very daunting. I like I was thinking about it a lot, and jo Joe's like Joe's endurance levels are are quite fucking insane because he's doing like eight level eight rounds of like coverage in a fucking row, which is a lot to ask. So yeah, she's very alive. She's just, can you imagine? Can you imagine ever? Feeling the level of like, like relaxedness as she is right now. Can can you fucking imagine? You know, it's cracked. All right, they're flooded. That was a bizarre fetch. Very bizarre fetch. Here's a brainstorm. It seems very vulnerable to removal. Yeah, in the same sense that like Hull Breacher is vulnerable to removal. I think Hull Breacher and Displacer Kitten are basically the same. Like they just like end up working. You navigate the games that way, right? Yeah, I was thinking about that too, right? Like if I wanted to play Displacer Kitten, I would also consider it an uh, Esper. But I don't think Esper really needs like infinite combos or things like that, right? Like you've got the slow grind, but I think having access to like a random ass kill out of nowhere is really powerful. Yeah, like being able to just be like, the game ends here. You don't get to do anything. The game is done, and especially with like vials and things like that. I mean, that could be that could be pretty cool. What is a land on top? I think I I think I do want it. I wonder if it's just better to hold a force of negation here. Nah, I'm just going to fucking slam my Teferi. Okay, this gets countered. We move on. That's annoying. Okay, so that's a hard cast force of will, sure. Yeah, I I think that's what I I would want like lots of instants and sorceries to complement the uh the kitten. All right, so this gets hard cast forest. Actually, do I even play it then? Why play into their spell? I don't think we really need to. All right, cool. I just <gasps> fucking not play my land for the turn. Jesus, I'm such an idiot. Whoops. So they're probably sitting on like one lightning bolt, one force of will. Ha! Huh. That's so sad. What the fuck is this? Uh, I should have thought about this a little bit more rather than just fire off my swords, but sort of is what it is. Now I'm going to play my iteration, yeah. Punish him. Shit. Hmm. This is fine, I guess. Uh they almost certainly have days, right? So maybe here I should just put the Yorion in my hand and not fight over anything. I think that is defensible. Yep. Thank you, Bustle. That is correct. Nice. All right. Same strategy. Uh, 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna get another drink real quick. I think I'm gonna. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we are Yori on as fuck right now. I wanted to try it out. I do not think um, 60 cards would be able to sustain it. My thought process behind Yorion, Jeff, was um, leverage um, Iteration and Narset to give you just a really, really... Fuck. Uh, to give you a really, really grindy... Yeah, this is fine. I don't know what I'm supposed to put back. A, gr a really, really grindy deck that just, like, works. Um, on its own. Is it just crazy to put back the Pyroblast here? I mean, the obvious answer is, like, put back to Fairy, but... I think the game plan for this specific hand is, like, just Giga Jam 3 drops. But yeah, basically by having iterations and narsets in maximum quantity, what you do is like you move away from being in the combo and then you just like try to outvalue your opponent and then like you go up on resources then you use those resources to trade down with your opponent's resources and then when the dust is finally settled, you can randomly play the cat and then just pull ahead with the cat, right? Like that's I think why cat is playable, Jeff, if that makes sense. In, in in this list at least in other lists you may have to like be a bit to represent a grip full of spells I think maybe back in the day when you have like lower lower power cards it's it's uh, fine maybe not so much right now all right i'm just gonna put back a teferi i i don't know i i don't think it's correct to put it back but we only have two lands i don't have that much time to think about it i just want to move along opponents on a mulligan to five as well so you know, that is what it is be right back Looks like they kept their five card hand, which, you know, I think mulliganing to four. In all my time playing, I've only actually won a mulligan to four once in my life. And that was back when I had countertop and uh, counterbalance as well. Oh, what have I done? What have I done? Okay, cool. That's me. Much better. All right, so we untap. I think I'm just going to play the volcanic island out here. Thought process is like, yes, we could get Wastelanded, but putting the Scalding Tarn and then fetching red off of the Scalding Tarn is a losing proposition. So, like, I'd mention rather eat it to Wasteland and, and live my life. No second land, huh? It's good to know. Okay, we'll wait on upkeep to see what the Delver flips. Wonder. No, here you could try to hit the ponder with um oh nice. Super cool. I love this play. Force pitching iteration, sure, 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 sure. I love this play so much. Hey Jay Z, what's up, dude? How's it going?
Yeah. I'm a huge fan of their play here. Oh, they milled the ponder? No shot. Haha. <laughs> That's fucking tight. All right. So I think sort of surmise that they have nothing in their hand now. Um, take four, fetch. We can grab a tundra as well. Oof. Okay. Well, if we draw engineered explosives, I mean, it's just like lights out, right? Mm, that is not that great. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> we needed a land there. We needed a land there. Now, if this gets dazed, I think I just lose. Okay, sweet. So it did not get dazed. Hmm. Let's see what we're drawing into. Displacer Kitten. I don't want this card. Can I get a... Bucket Plateau? Oh god, I'm a fucking idiot. I have Flusterstorm literally in my hand. Uh, but I think it's more important to play towards drawing one of the two spells. Instead, we drew the third in our set. Okay, okay, it's, it's not the worst. And by that, I mean it's pretty fucking bad. It is pretty fucking bad. Land. Yikes. Alright, tempo. Deep breath, deep breath. No, their last card is a Pyroblast. My god. I'm literally clenching right now. They're looking for just like the artifact or something, huh? My god. Don't have it, don't have it. No! <laughs> they played this game so well. I'm dead. I'm so impressed with their play. I'm so impressed with the way they play this. I think, I, I mean, I, I know. Um, I could have iterated there and still probably just died. Very well played opponent. Very, very well played. If you win the match because of how you played this game, I'll be very excited. Player diff. Okay, relax, dude. Relax. I'm fucking unzy D, dude. I do want to punish, though. I have not dropped a match to Delver yet with this deck. We'll see what happens, though. <laughs> Singular F, by the way. I like that you present. It's like it's like it's like art, you know, fine art. It's like when you're like you're chefing up a plate and you like splash the sauce on like in some crazy fashion. What is the blue cat? Check it out, Displacer Kitten. It's a two-two for four mana that says when you cast a non-creature spell, exile up to one target non-land permanent you control, then return it to play. So basically, what I'm trying to do is blink my planeswalkers. My god, I hope I don't fucking lose. Alright, this can curb the aggression. I think they're gonna keep seven this time around. Yeah, they did. Fuck. It's over. We lose. GG. Um, I'm not going to play Afraid of Wasteland. Although I think I could sandbag this ponder one turn, maybe. Yeah, this isn't I should have sandbagged it, then I could have gotten maybe Oh, the best of all worlds or something like that, but this is fine so far. But it's also four mana, yeah. That's the big problem with it, yes. So, um, I think it's it's like Chase, like if you can untap with it, like you, you just like you cannot lose. I think. I don't know. Maybe that's not true. They're gonna turn three iteration. We've got Flusterstorm ready. And then hopefully we oh, you know what I should have done? I should have maybe played the Mystic Sanctuary. Again with the flood like the fetching, like I just have to assume that they're flooded. Like I, I cannot think of anything else that would merit that. Let's go ahead and drop this now. The next turn I can go uh Teferi plus Flusterstorm. Not a hundred percent sure if that's correct. I will fight. I choose violence. Like that fetch was just so Yeah, another one? Okay, so they have three lands. So if they have three lands and pyroblast in their hand, that means what am I doing here this turn? Yeah, you don't get this either. You don't get good things. No, 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 no. Island. Violence is never the answer. What if I told you violence is always the answer? All right. 
you have to have a third land here. It's just impossible for you not to. Okay, you're pondering. Oh, that is so good. Okay, so now I can turn this Teferi into a two-for-one trading with a Force of Will or Double Days. That's pretty good. And I'm immediately down tick with the Teferi too just to play around Pyroblast. I get the feeling that... Oh, yeah, this is pretty good as well. Um, I get the feeling that I don't need to worry about Wasteland too much. And obviously, it's not necessarily the case. If this gets countered, um, I think I will wait on my Pyroblast. I don't really want to give it up to Days. I mean, we have a very strong hand. We can survive. The only card that really matters now is Wasteland. And I'm going to hypothesize that they just fucking have it right there. Okay. Oh, that is not what I was expecting. I was not expecting them to go after the red source. Wow. Maybe they have a second one. I don't know. Who's the delusional wash combo player? Uh... Oh, I see what you're saying. Reverse, like, that's the question. Okay. They only have two cards in hand now, so it's pretty good. I will lead with this, and then I will play this. I'm not going to play around Spell Pierce. Ooh, shit. Is this good? I think so. Actually, it might not be. I'll take the three-mana Planeswalker, but I don't think I want... Uh, I don't think I want the cat necessarily, so we'll see. Yeah, I think I'm supposed to just shuffle it with the cat. Ugh, that's unfortunate. Okay, now the game might get a little bit under out of control. Merktide number two. Wait, that's not castable. No, no, this that was the flooded turn that got played. Okay, cool. So why don't I just shuffle here, pick up another volcanic. Brainstorm could be good. Put Yorion into my hand. There is life. You guys are all good players. Uh, I don't care. I don't care what the. I don't care what you say. If I don't want the cat, why am I playing it in my deck? Well, the cat's not for every matchup, right? Certain situations and board states, it's in flux. This is not the exact moment for the cat, right? So let's say this was like, I don't know. I might use it. Um, there will there will come a time for it, I'm sure. But Del Delver is just a tricky matchup. Like if I was playing against like a non-blue deck, for example, I'd probably just slam it. Yeah, Hundo. Fuck. It's in the new commander set. Yeah, also kind of surprised by that, right? I basically lose here to Pyro Lost. Fucking okay. Dude, this guy, Harper, just like he goes so hard. It's it's actually incredible. It's actually just ridiculous. Yeah, how have you been liking Currency Converter? Because I know you mentioned that card to me a while ago. How's it been working out? 6-6, six, six, sure. Ooh. Slam? I think we win this race. Yeah, you just have to do this. Yeah, I mean, it's probably not completely broken, but, like, are you playing with, like, Dak and stuff? I saw Ali posted a list that had... Dak, okay, that's good. Yeah, just feed the mentor. Fucking nice. Oh. I start with this. I just like drew bangers back to back there. I think this one's wrapped up now. In Daclum. Yeah, because I, I think if I were if I were to build with currency converter, I would want to personally just leverage the passive ability as much as possible. So I think cool things that you can do, like, yeah, Daclum, I, I, does it work with lands? Is 
It's best in lens. I mean, I, I've had uh, success because it's good against surgical. Oh, wait, it, uh, how so? Oh, lands make treasures, non lands make tutus. Okay. I see. Yeah, I mean, if they had gone for iteration here, I think I would have been in a way worse spot. Admittedly, though, admittedly, though, we did draw insanely well, so it could have been close. All right, we're three and one in this event, which is kind of not was I what I was expecting which is insane <laughs> it is uh <laughs> saying he got tilted by my plateau and that cost him his 5-0 in pioneer I accept it I accept it uh, so we're 3-0 and against Delver with this deck though which is kind of crazy what kind of event great great question so basically this is a five round event here are the prizes 5-0 and 4-1 will get some usual prelim level prizes but additionally you get this one constructed championship entry token and this entry token lets you play in a larger event where first place is like some odd, um, um, it's like some odd $18,000 first place prize that they're giving out in like magic stuff, according to GoatBots. Basically, it's like, a, and they're, they're, this event is basically to celebrate the 20th year of Magic Online. I wonder if this is Watsy, like Watsy's idea or, or Daybreak's idea. I do like the, I do like the thought of this for sure. Holy moly, I have so many notifications. <laughs> uh, what's going on? Sorry, what did, I, what did I look at? First, I believe, is four copies of every vintage legal card. Yeah. Four copies of every vintage legal card. And I think GoatBots is the one that was like, hey, that's like 18 grand. I'm telling you, I could really use 18 grand. <laughs> you know how many tournaments I could fly to then? Holy shit. GoatBots also trying to fight the fight for win trading. I, I respect that. I respect the GoatBots Twitter account. I'm not going to lie. Kind of fire. Here it is. This is the tweet. All all the tweets on this account are kind of nice, yeah. The winner of the 20th anniversary series final will win four regular sets of each vintage legal expansion currently worth over 18k tickets. Wah wah wee wah. We're excited to announce the start of Magic Online's 20th anniversary celebration, three weeks of all access, vintage cube mocks, and one of the biggest top prizes in MTGO history. Check out the details now. Yeah, that's my plan. I mean, I, I will try to win. Um. Okay, so basically... There's a lot going on here. Based, so first things first is that they're giving away these avatars. So I think I will probably get, hmm, I'll probably get Young Pyromancer. But whoever gets Ma Transcendent Master, holy shit, that is a fucking flex, you know? If you've had your thing for up to 20 years, my God, that's so sick. So the winner of the Magic Online 20th Anniversary Series will add to their Magic Collection four complete sets of almost every booster release in the history of Magic Online. Players that finish 4-1 or 5-0 in both a limited and a constructed plate event between... Wait, what? Players that finish 4-1 or 5-0 in both a limited and a constructed play in event. Oh, I, did, I didn't realize that. I thought it was only one or the other. You have to do it in both. You guys know that? Ooh, Ethan, that's fucking sick. That is a sick flex. You have a space in your name, Happy Bone? Wow. Crazy. Okay, well, interesting. Finals event is Modern Horizons 2 Limited. The play-in format rotates every two days and includes a limited lineup of blah, 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 blah. And then play-in events are every four hours, 159 and 159. And then all access, I think we know about this. Yeah, okay. I don't think there's much else interesting here. So, yeah, check it out if you are interested, yeah. Didn't know they allowed that until... Yeah, I, I think I've tried before and I was not successful. Angelo is playing against... My goblin's opponent and it actually won a game i'm playing um displacer kitten yeah i think the access token is like it's so fucking good that even though i own all my cards and even though i can get any card i want using my card hoarder account i still buy it i still buy it because it's it's just like it's awesome i don't know i wonder if my youtube video is popping off nice 269 views okay that's not too bad that's not too bad for my my personal metrics. Mega con yeah, I think that's what it is. It's just a convenience factor, right? Not having to like balance things. And also there's a possibility for a lot of players that just like your rental account simply isn't large enough to get some of the most, you know, popular cards. Like Ledger Shredder is a fucking 50 ticket card. Like I did, I spent $25 on that. Yeah, yeah. Um, mostly for, you know, content that I'll be playing and blah, 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 this, this, this. I, I bought the all access pass and that gave me access to every single card. So temporarily, I think commander cards are supposed to come out of Magic Online chests on June 15th, which is a while away. So I think if you want to play with it sooner rather than later, I would highly recommend it. Um, all the commander cards are there until until June 29th. Wait, what do you mean? 
<clears throat> Wait, what? No shot. Did my boy actually fucking do it? Hold up. No fucking way. <laughs> okay, Phil. Alright. You know what? I trust you. Phil's good shit right there. That's pretty good. I'm just gonna copy this. I'm gonna paste this. I'm just gonna copy this. I'm gonna paste it. Uh, for full, 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 full confidence, this is what I was doing. I was looking up Ledger Shredder photos for the, my thumbnail, and uh, Phil's face is like literally right here. Oh, this interesting. This is a decent thumbnail. Who made this? Let's see. This is by Taco Bite. Ledger Shredder is insane. I'm just gonna try to steal all. Look, not steal, but like look at all of your thumbnails because like I'm very impressed. <laughs> okay, all right. So it's a lot of the same stuff. Interesting. I really like this like white border that they put around the magic card. That makes me I like it a lot. And then they label the with the format too. Okay, I think the format label, I'm not a huge fan of it. They use borders like str like strokes on like text and pictures very very well. Hmm. Okay, interesting. Sure. Okay. Pass, close. Um I think I had it once so far, only once. It hasn't really come up yet. So, yeah. And I'm not sure, I mean, it's probably just this list specifically, but I wonder, going back to, like, Esper, this is just a dead deck, right? Like, there's no way this is actually a thing. I mean, in theory, I guess you don't have to play Mox Opal. I cut, like, Chalices as well. Then I would have to bring the Forces back in. So Chalice and Force basically take up the same slot. If I go, like, Ancient Tomb, Azorius Signet. Ancient Tomb, Azorius Signet. The fact that Saga can tutor up Lotus Petal is kind of cracked, right? And Petal is most likely sufficient. You know, honestly, Petal is probably... I don't know if it's better than... I don't know if it's better than... Uh, I don't know if it's better than Mishra's Bauble. Saga is just nuts. Yeah, I think Saga works almost in any deck that you build. I just don't like Signet. Nah, okay, all right. I'm just going to scrap this. I, I can't really... Think about it. I, I think this is just, like, so much smoother. It's just a shame that there's no good blinkable tar- Oh, Fibblethip, duh. I'm fucking stupid. Eh? Hello? Fibblethip, duh. Why am I not playing that card? Oh, Jeff probably knows a lot about Fibble Fibblethip too, right? I don't know if you're still here, Jeff, but that could be a playable card in, in this list. Two mana. I think at worst it has at best it has to be two mana. Oh, and it comes in old border as well. Yo, homie, what? Prism or abundant growth? Oh, I didn't think about abundant growth. Wait a minute. And that's actually kind of cracked. Oh my god. Okay, wait. Abundant growth is actually just nuts. Jeff, how do we not think about how do we not think about abundant growth? Maybe you did. I how did I not think about abundant growth? What the fuck? <laughs> You did think about it, but you didn't like it. Okay, interesting. You know what else? Fibbletip is a legend. You know, it works well with legends, right? Ox Amber? Yeah, it's a possibility for sure. It's definitely a possibility. Four color. I don't think I would play Uro in this deck. I, I don't know. I just, I don't think this is very... Displacer Kitten and Uro are not really good friends. Animate Dead? Okay, wait a minute. Why don't I have any copies of what? Abundant Growth in this deck? Just blink the Uro with Displacer, yeah. Hey, Ryan, how's it going? We are definitely in the kitchen right now. Chefin. Why do I not have any copies of Fibbletip? I mean, I don't... I don't own the card. I've never played it before. Blinking Archon? Oof. Okay, wait a minute. It, well, yeah, we're, we're in the kitchen cooking kitten stir-fry. Wait a minute. No, 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 no. I, I take that back. I'm just thinking about the fucking... I'm too tired. I'm too tired. How many hours has it been? Seven? Did we hit the seven hour mark? Nice. Who would have known? Oh, I didn't talk about this article, did I? Why I am a shirker. This is an insane article. This person wrote like 2,000 words on just like why they don't want to do work, which I thought was crazy. Wow. V lookup and mail merge turns six hours of work into 20 minutes of work. Nice. I don't know what mail merge is, but anyways, interesting article. So this person says, I manage this tension by trying to be a shirker is who, someone who tries to avoid responsibilities at work. I'm a shirker because I believe my job is bullshit and I resent the lack of autonomy in the workplace. I've also largely given up hope of ever finding meaningful work. 
One day in the hopefully not too distant future, I hope to quit my day job, but for now it continues to be an important and reliable source of cash flow. Shirking is uh, shirking at work is a way for me to avoid burnout. Uh, okay, and I think myself. Sorry, I now think of my work as if I was running a business, and the business is a cash cow with low overheads. Blah 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 blah. Anyways, what's crazy to me is what a shirker actually means. Understand the nature of the modern workplace and the real purpose of your job. I found that most jobs only forty percent is in the formal job description. Remaining sixty percent might be to fulfill a regulatory requirement or to boost your department head's power within the organization. Okay, I don't know about that. But I do agree that there's a lot of shit that they make you do in any job that isn't necessarily like in the description. You're reading a book about bullshit jobs. Well, let me ask you a question. Is it about bullshit jobs and what does that mean? I, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised by that, right? Do your work as quickly and with as little effort as possible by taking the route of least resistance on work tasks. Sometimes I'll even leave obvious oversights that managers will be happy to catch. I'm not above recycling my own past work and that of others. I think this is an important concept, right? Work smart, not hard. Don't reinvent the wheel. Always appear busy. Okay, this one's kind of annoying. Maintain a full email calendar and never respond too quickly to queries. <laughs> okay, that's fuck, That's kind of fucked up, actually. Ideally, work for multiple bosses so that you can make each believe you're busy with the other ones. Holy shit, this is like nth level. I don't think I've ever done this before in my life. And in my experience, the best boss is a dumb boss, one who won't be too demanding because he or she doesn't know. Oh, wow. Wow. Do not defy management. Be psychologically disengaged but alert to what's going on at work. It's like this is crazy. In some cases, it might be advantageous to slow down work by following to the book inefficient corporate rules. In my org, this often relays in days of inaction. Okay, that's kind of fucked. Okay, I, so I don't agree with a lot of this, but I do think um, the general idea could be fascinating to think about. Oh, where it's hard to repurpose your time, where you can't, like, multitask. Okay, yeah, I see that. Can I ask a random question? What was your question, Hunter? Can I ask? Oh, yeah. Assuming you have the ability to cast both, do people think serenity or seeds of innocence is better? Um, I think it also depends on, like, what your curve is. So I like serenity in in even my Uro deck because I can... Oh, that's an interesting question. No, yeah, that, that's tough. Why do I play serenity over seeds? Well, one in white, one green, green. I think there's a big difference there. I guess Serenity also blows up like Urza. I don't know. I've been very happy with Serenity. Oh, last round, okay. Serenity taking a turn is a big deal, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, okay, cool. I'm not going to go into this much more than that, but I thought it would be kind of interesting to observe the concept and just, like, discuss it. I'm not going to say, like, what the way this person is talking at some point seems actually um, maybe not, like, totally malicious. Ah. <sighs> I think I will keep this hand, but I, it's, but I think the, the, the ultimate like consequence is that it can genuinely like slow down and cause some negative effects. So I like, I, I don't think I would like full on do what this person is saying, but I do think that the idea of not committing yourself fully to your work when you do not believe in your work is, is like fine. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't think that. So, for example, me, like, my case is, like, I'm not very passionate about my job, but I do a good job at my job. Um, I don't try to, like, overachieve, but I also don't think that's, like, necessary. Instead, I use that extra energy, time, or space on working on my magic content, you know what I mean? And this is something I'm very passionate about. I want all three of these cards, right? Iteration, okay. So maybe we're playing against Aussie deck 2.0 again. Hard to say. Okay, ponder off a mountain. So we know the next turn that they're going to play the iteration. I think I will just happily play this, pass, and then next turn, slam to fairy. Most likely protect it with Force of Will. Down tick, I think, to play around. Wait, what? Oh, shit. Okay, I'm going to pitch here. Okay, so they're forcing back, pitching Force of Negation. Hmm. Well, that's not good for us. Oops. Ponder. Okay.
Well, let's hope that the Teferi resolves. If the Teferi resolves, maybe we're in. Okay, shape. The the downside here is, ah, fuck, they can just downtick in Prismatic Ending, huh? Yeah, that's bad. Okay, we got to dodge a lot. But I'm, I'm actually hoping that they iterate here. Or they just have main deck pyroblast. Sure. We're fucked. They went ponder, no shuffle. So now they get two of the three cards. Ay, 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 ay. This is not good. This does not seem like a really great matchup, I'll be very honest. The last time we played this, we were on Esper. This time we were on Jeskai. So that we might have a better chance now. I don't think it's worth it to get rid of the Narset just yet. Like, we don't really have any cards that get impacted by it. And I think picking up the blue card here for Force of Negation is substantially better. They still have Expressive Iteration in their hand, which I imagine they're going to play right now. This deck is, like, scary good. Um, Narset plus Force. Rough. I mean, we still have the same number of cards. Okay, Crocus is not so bad. Yeah, actually, <laughs> I kind of want to try this again, but with like Fibbletip. Because I think Fibbletip and Displacer Cat could work really well together. I don't know. Problem is, is like, um, Fibbletip doesn't really block well. Um,. Okay, sure. Block well in the sense of... Like, Baleful Strix trades with Delver creatures? Yo, seriously. Okay, well, you're fucking out of Pyroblast now. So, like, I, I hope that, you know, it was worth it. Oh, God, I'm, I'm actually just, like, fucking... Just... Tone it down, I guess. Hmm. At this point, they probably have prismatic ending, so I think I'm just going to do this. Well, I could see like a one of working if you have like Caracas or something, you know what I mean? Actually, that's a really good question. How do you get Fibbletip into play from your deck? Does anybody actually know? <clears throat> All right, so they're sitting on force. Cool. Oh, is this Snapcaster Mage? Oh, it really is Snapcaster Mage. Fuck. Ice targeting Caracas. Hmm. I wouldn't really mind brainstorming here, to be totally honest. Okay. If only Displacer Cat was actually legendary, that would be so nasty. Actually, I don't know if that'd be a good thing. It might not it might not be a good thing. Yeah, I don't know. This is kind of a dagger. It's fine. I think we'll still be able to do stuff here. The good news is that they pitched one force of negation, so if we draw into something like a Sevens Reclamation, maybe we'll be okay. I also need to wonder, um, maybe I was supposed to put Source to Plashes on top of my deck. So I think what's going to happen here is they're going to snap Pyro. 
but maybe that opens the way for Teferi. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, wow, they just did nothing. Okay, well, I will just continue playing this way. Now this maybe gets snap pyroblasted. Oh, that's cool. That's fucking cool. <clears throat> sure. That was actually so fucking sick. Oh my god. I love fire ice, dude. No way. I mean, they still have five cards in hand, so we're kind of in trouble, but... Not sure what else I'm supposed to do, so whatever. Hmm. Okay, very happy with this. Let's go. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think I may have messed up there. I, I don't know. Like, if I bounce the Snapcaster Mage, then... I could have, like, ticked down, maybe. That's okay. We have another 7s in our deck, or right here. Okay, I think I may have fucked this one up. Tell you what, I'll, I'll untap with Mystic Sanctuary. I think that's a nice place to start. We can also get... Oh, we actually... One, two, three. Are super close to winning. I hope this works. That's annoying. They have two cards left in their hand. Maybe I was not supposed to get the Force of Will here. Yorion is already taken care of. They don't have Pyroblast. I think I'm just going to trade. Yes. Bobble, okay. So here, if I look at the top of my deck, maybe I can figure out what to do here. Is there too much? Yeah, I'll, I'll dial it down a little bit, Eli. Got you. Um... Since I'm drawing this card, no matter what, it just it is what it is. Scalding Tarn, sure. Still have two cards left. Okay, I'm gonna tick up one more time and hope that they don't have a second. Our set. Okay, that's kind of crazy. Don't have another prismatic ending. They have another prismatic ending. Jeez. Well, taking down doesn't do anything, right? I mean, it cycles. But then they just attack with a stupid Snapcaster Mage. Okay, maybe this is fine. Nice. Somehow we're still in this.
So we go, yeah, here, sure. <clears throat> oh, I could have fucking prismatic ending the Snapcaster Mage, couldn't I? But I think I want to do this instead anyways. Like Either way, I'm going to give up a card, right? I think now they're going to get value out of the, the Stranded Sword Suppositors that's in their hand. Oh, it looks like they're not. How are we not just dead here? I mean, I guess they drew one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine lands. I don't know. I have no sympathy for a deck that has like double main deck power. Even even my own decks, like right, whatever. It is what it is. Nice. I just do not. Sorry, feel bad. Um, we have enough mana where I think I'm allowed to make this play here, which is iterate into. Shit. <laughs> okay, wait, never mind. It's okay, it's not a big deal. Nice. Have I been live since 1 a.m.? About, yeah. That's when the first event started. I was like, okay, I'll just stream some, you know? I hope you guys are enjoying. Uh, da, 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 da. All right, we're going to play this. And just chug along. Oh, kitten on the bottom of the deck. All right, maybe I'm not supposed to play these lands out, but I'm going to. I also want to keep an eye on the clock as well. They have three cards in their hand probably counters and lands sure goodbye monastery mentor I think I'm allowed to just not cast this ponder right now well actually if I cast the ponder I get to shuffle the two cats back into the deck Something to think about. Actually, you know what? Straight up, I'm just going to change the song. Maybe that'll be better. Okay. But uh, no, I think I think we get to slow roll this ponder. Or just draw more Narsets. That's also super awesome. I think I will take a ponder here, tick up with the Teferi, and uh, continue chugging along here. Yeah, we are three and one right now. Yeah, thank you, Eli. Yeah. We beat, we lost to Goblins. We beat Delver, Delver. Actually, I don't, I don't remember. No, we beat Delver twice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's pretty good. I think this will get the concession. No, they probably have swords in their hand. Uh... In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if they had multiple swords in their hand. One, two, three, four white sources already in place. I think I can get an island. I'll just fucking get rid of this nonsense. Um, there's an argument for just not doing it because we're going to get a lot of value out of our tokens. I, I, I think fighting over Snapcaster is fine. If I, fighting over Plow, I don't think I need to do that. Double Snapcaster gone. Very good. Yes, that, that's okay. Or maybe I'm just arbitrarily saying things. I don't really know. 
Hey, look at me. I'm a D-Gen too. Hmm. Okay. And I believe that should be close to game. So now I get to play this. I will target that. Oh, this is going to be sick. Target the Narset. Always yield. Okay. Now we get the down tick. Here's a brainstorm. Uh, I will brainstorm. Jeff, it's happening. Jeff, it's happening. Oh my god, it's happening. This is nasty. I do agree. This is <laughs> kind of cringe, but uh, it's bad. Uh, we'll keep going. Down tick. Pick up. Sure. Iteration. Why not? Meanwhile, we're also just going to punch in for 16 points of damage, so that's pretty hot. Double cat. Uh, oh. Okay, I think that is game, right? Yeah, we have little infinite now. So I'll put this back, and I will put Narset back. Done. Nice. <laughs> that was so nasty. That was so sick. We just chained off like non-deterministically into a de deterministic kill. Double cat would draw us two cards per spell. Wait, really? H how? Don't we? Uh... Oh, because we mounts the Teferi and the Narset. Okay, I gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a lot of spells, right? Yeah. Feels good. Although I will say, okay, so last time I realized that force of negation was actually not that great in this matchup, so I will put them in the, the maybe pile. However, I think we also have a bunch of mediocre cards in the form of swords and prismatic endings. So I have seven cards I want to cut. And I genuinely think we need to keep some number of swords in, but I could see like one, two, three. Oh, wow, on the full play set? No, that can't possibly be right. Something like this? Because we also have explosives now for Monastery Mentor. What is the worst land in my deck? <laughs> Maybe it's actually just fucking plateau and go to 29 lands. Yeah, do you see Honey's legs right now? Like her front legs, she's just like, she like, I, don't know, I love it when she, I call it sphinxing. I don't know, I don't know. All right, I think this is fine. It's not, it's not perfect. It's not great, but we have potential six answers and then forces as well. Yeah, the force negation just ended up not being good. I cannot tell you why. That doesn't like make much sense. Force negation was really rough when we were doing eighty cards, but I get and this time I guess we have like pyroblast too. So maybe I'm like super wrong about this. Yo, what up, toast? Good morning. Oh, they're on the draw. I love you. That's sweet. I think being on the draw is heckin' dumb nowadays because of expressive iteration, but I I like I like thinking outside the 
the box, if you will. Good morning. What time is it for you? Is it like 11.30? So I think I will fire off this brainstorm here. If it gets pyroblasted, I think that's a win-win for us, right? I don't think anyone ever counters this, yeah. Um, I don't know what land I'm going to be fetching here. But I will draw the fourth land again. I guess I'll go for... No, I think I'll just get an island. That's fine. It's not a big deal. You went to calc class and back? Okay, nice. How's that? Son, are you are you an A-plus student? 5-0? Well done, Angela. How'd you beat the goblins deck, dude? That deck looked like an absolute menace. So I believe this is going to get pyroblasted. Okay. Happy for that. Integrating like a beast. Nice. Three extra dress downs. Nice. Yeah. I think, yeah, I agree. I agree. Dress down is fantastic in that matchup. You have like mentors as well, right? I think dress down plus mentors are a great combination of cards. Now, if they fucking play like their own Narset or something, I just have to hope they don't have force here. Oh, okay. So they're holding up Snap Blast. Which technically I have an answer to. Nice. Not not as nice. We did not draw a land. Shoot. This should put them on the back pedal significantly though, right? Now they have to like tap out to kill this. And I might even I don't think I'm gonna pitch the Narset here. To the force, yeah, that just doesn't happen in this in this board state. Log, yeah, yeah, Raphael, I wanted to, I wanted to, but I had my own event that weekend um, at DreamHack Dallas, and so, so funny enough, the main event, the, the main event at the Modern 10K for DreamHack Dallas was um, just a 10K, uh, just a 10K, and it only had 200 players. Snapcaster Mage resolves. I think I will plow here. And then we can play Narset and be happy. Oh, or we could just slam another Teferi. That's so toxic. <laughs> okay. Fire Ice would be obnoxious. Yo, we need to draw a little bit better off of the help of... Actually, what am I talking about? We just drew the Teferi, but we had the Narset. Like, so it's like, I don't know. <laughs> I know, right? This mirror does seem kind of atrocious. Prismatic ending, sure. Bobble, okay. Um, so now they have red blast active. One, two. <laughs> Wait a minute. All right. So I think I'm going to lead with the Narset. I do kind of expect this to get countered. Yeah. Hmm. This is nasty, right? Buying back Seven's Reclamation? <laughs> okay, so we know about Flusterstorm. Sure. Which is honestly a little bit unfortunate to know about, but that's fine. Iteration, okay. <laughs> the Plateau v. Plateau gang. <laughs> I'm just saying, look, they've got Plateau in play and I don't. Who's winning? Mentor. Um, we'll happily force this. Uh, 
Oh, that's annoying. I really don't want to play the planes out, so I think I'm just going to jam this and down tick. And then we'll get iteration here. Pass the turn. If I had, I don't know, maybe I was supposed to play the planes and tap the planes for this, but. So I'll start with iteration. Okay, and then just down tick. One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna grab another one, I guess. Sure. This is so disgusting. Like it just doesn't. It just feels crazy. Uh, I'm happy to counter basically this. Yeah, most most things I'm just like if they pyroblast. That's how they get back in the game. If this thing resolves, they get more looks at stuff. And I, I think they're just like playing off the top of their deck as well. So we draw a cat. We also just win the game, I think, right? And then ponder. Oh, nice. Okay, so cancel actually. Maybe I should um, tick up here because I can go like Snapcaster, bounce Snapcaster. They very clearly don't have anything, so I think I get the I get the luxury here. Even if they one for one, I'm still ahead, so I think that cements the this being the reason to do it. Yeah, Fire Ice would be kind of nasty. Ending on three. Sure. And then they go brainstorm or ponder or whatever. I'm going to counter that. Juice. I think I knew that was there, right? This one was not particularly close. Which I'm happy for. Sometimes I like the the free wins. Shuffle this. Sure. Explosives is not too bad here either. This makes me, it's like a throwback to like the good old days of like Miracles Mirrors and how fucking devolved that shit was too. Sure. They got Red Blast. Okay. That kills Teferi. And we have a backup Teferi. We want cat and then we win. Nice. So this is what I meant by like you just like stumble onto the win here with with uh I think I still win here, right? Done. Oh I must have missed a tick up. Okay, cool. Good games. Is this not the definition of getting more? Yeah, I mean, well, I mean, cat's like a nice way to close out, but like, let's say like,